I can't tell you. Do you have 401k? And he was like, yeah. I was like, do you have 401k? And he was like, yeah. I was like, do you have 401k? And he was like, yeah. And I mean, the reason I ask him this is because if I get in a relationship with somebody, I want to know like what kind of baggage that they have. I think that's important. If I walk into a situation where I'm like, Hey, I have good credit and I have all these things and I have all these things and I have all these things, 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 and I have all these things that I can't tell you like the exact words of the exact conversation at the exact time and place, because it's like, we had a lot of conversations. I mean, we talked every single day. So it's so like, a- I'm trying to help you guys with the stuff, like the stuff that's more current. I can give you guys a lot more like detail and exact times when you're asking me about something that happened six weeks ago and exactly what was said. It's like, I mean, I'm sure I can give you a general idea, but to be honest with you, like to think, in one of the renditions of Discovery. Nope, we don't that- want to watch that much of it. So <laughs> just a sec, let me get this off. So hi guys and welcome. I'm so glad you guys could all make it. Oh, Pride or Honesty, I actually see you. I see you, I see you in chat. And that just makes me so happy. Thank you, I'm so happy you're here. Um, you've been watching NK Civil Trial. Oh, wait, that's Amber Heard. Oh, no, pride or honesty. But this week, um, when the jury does finally lay down that decision, and I know what I'm hoping that decision is going to be, we are going to finally do <laughs> the live stream that I, I did some planning for ever since the, the first day of the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard defamation trial. When I watched Amber Heard on the stand, and I'm sure many of you had a similar thought or, you know, something, um, I saw NK. So then, you know, I started going to my psychology and my behavioral, my applied behavioral analysis background. And I started to evaluate what Amber Heard was doing as far as her, um, tactic, her method, her approach, her, you know, her, 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 her MO, so to speak, um, for what I believe, guys, in my opinion, was clearly lying on the stand. I mean, absolute perjury, um, total possible impeachment of the woman. Um, <laughs> um, and then, you know, I mentally compared my notes with that of NK, of the ones I have on NK, and then actually, you know, physically compared the notes just to make sure I wasn't like, you know, in outer space that day. And they have so much the same um, approach to telling the truth, or shall we say, 
approach to telling the lies. We have no in yes, the lies. So let me just say hi to people here. So hi, DTC Primetime. How are you? So nice to see you. And um, DTC Primetime, I was going to email you actually and ask you if you'd like to join um, Rose and I up on panel at any point, please um, let us know because you and I, I think have kind of talked about something like this before and I think that would be appropriate. So Molson, man, the man with a the theme song. How are you? Nice to see you, my dear. <laughs> Hi, Delisa Wright. How are you? Yes, yes, yes. Amber Her has lied. Oh my gosh. I mean, in her witnesses even are lying. It's really, it's it's remarkable. Molson, man, I hope you don't mind me saying this. Um, mentioned last night, we were over at a Curious Roses channel. I was so happy I actually caught them all. We were just chatting about some things. And uh, he said that Amber Heard's, that the female attorney, Elaine, I don't know how to say her last name, um, in the Washington, D.C. area, correct me if I'm wrong, Molson man, but she's quite reputable and, um, and revered, well, at least thought of in good terms in that area, which really um, shocked me because she's a freaking hot mess. Seriously, right? Hi, Anna Flaxis. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm so happy you're here. I'm always happy you're here, girl. Really happy to see you. Anna Flaxis is a bomb. Don't you guys think? I love her. <laughs> Hi, Karen G. Karen G. And I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I take note of what you and I talked about, Karen G. And are you still hearing that crackling noise? Because I'd like to try to fix it if I can. Um, I was turning on my ear boy, blah, 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 ear boys. Yeah, my ear boys, my earbuds at some point. So I don't know if that was it, but please let me know if I can do anything to like, you know, make um, the live stream better for you guys. Hi, Utter Nutter. Thank you so much for everything you do and for being here tonight. And John McSmith, my friend, my nemesis, more my friend these days. And I'm really happy about that, John. We're good. We've been good, right? And Crackling Rosie, true crime, always awesome to see you. Yeah, can't wait for that trial to end. I'm like sad that trial's ending. You know, when you read a really good book and you're just like, oh man, there's only two chapters left. Oh my God, shit, there's only 10 pages left. Oh my God, I'm on the last like three pages and you don't know what you're going to do when that book is done. That's how I feel about Johnny and Amber. My Johnny and my, yeah, my friend Johnny and my nemesis, Amber, right? Right, John McSmith? <laughs> hi, Mark Klein. How are you? It was great seeing you last night, too. That was really fun. And hi, Donna. How are you doing? Welcome. Good to see you here. Nancy S. Uh-oh, Nancy S. is encroaching on your song, Molson Man. I think it's just happening naturally. Hi, RR. Are you are such a sweetheart. Thank you for everything. It was great seeing you last night. Um, and I'm sorry I kind of jumped down your throat about the um, the signing of that gun legislation and whatever. I just feel very passionately about it. So I feel like I owe you an apology for that. So I'm sorry. You know I love you. And I just feel very strongly that all politicians should be signing that very simple background check legislation. It's truly not too much to ask. I think it's the least we could do for our society and for our children and teachers, which you and I are, you know. So um, CW had a blast with the NK. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hi, Joan. How are you? I'm glad you love the intro, honey. You're so awesome. You're like you're like the biggest fan of the channel. You're just you're you're such a good cheerleader, Joan. You're 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 great. I love you. Uh, Ho Chi Winter. Always so glad you can make it. Good morning and good evening. Ho Chi Winter says yes. Um, evening here for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, to Utter Nutter, I just said hi to you, right? But Utter Nutter is like, I don't know, Utter Nutter. I know you haven't been feeling well lately, and understandably, you can't come to every live stream, you're not feeling well. So, I just thought of that as I was about to say, you're all, all of the mods for this channel are amazing, and I know you guys all know that and think that Utter Nutter has been here so consistently. For nearly entirety of like every chat is just, I really appreciate it, Utter Nutter. There were a few times when Utter Nutter was the only moderator here. And I didn't want to say it out loud because that would just draw attention to the fact that like, yikes, right? But she always does such a good job. And you've really just, I, you know, I've seen you grow so much, Utter Nutter. 
you're like my baby mod. Well, not not you're well, you're a senior moderator, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, it's like watching my baby girl. Yeah. Hi, Kitty Witty. How are you? Love it when you're here. Nice to see you. And Muffy Dragon Slayer, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I have, but I haven't. But I'm glad that you're here. Welcome. And there's Molson Man again. <laughs> and uh, Karen G, let me know how that audio is. Um. Uh, hi, Amy Hunter. How are you? Oh, I hope you're still here. She was asking when starting. Yeah. Kelly searches equal equals answers. Darling, I hope you're here as well. Kelly searches equals answers has a channel of that same name. And I suggest that everybody go check it out and subscribe. I like it. It's good stuff. Um, I catch it when I can. Kelly searches equals answers. Um, I intended to send my moderators a list of channels that are friends of this channel and, you know, the, like the link to channel membership and all that jazz. I haven't done it yet. Did you guys know I just started a new job and I'm, I have a commute? I've been talking about it enough, haven't I? <laughs> um, so I apologize for that. But, you know, moderators, you know, I should be providing you that. If you can come up with these links, that's great, you know. Hi, Jamie Smith. How are you? Welcome. So nice to see you. And hi, Gigi. How are you? And did I see David Carter? David Carter, welcome. Glad to see you here as well, my friend. I hope that you're doing well, David. So um, I hope I didn't miss anyone. If I did, just please say hi. Um, we, you know, we care about all of you guys and we're, we're glad that all of you are here speaking on behalf of myself and my crew. And my crew, that's all of you. Every single one of you. All right. Let me get back down to current time. <sighs> ah, face in the crowd. Welcome. How are you doing, a face in the crowd? Um, you, um, I was reading some of your comments today. Very interesting, insightful comments. Thank you for leaving those comments for people for myself and for people to think about on the channel. They're awesome. Hi, Teacup. How are you doing? Welcome. And Susan Hughes, my girl. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I haven't seen you in a while, sweetie. Welcome, Susan Hughes. I'm really glad that you're here. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. And then, oh gosh, Texas. Um, our friend from Corpus Christi. I do remember that. Um, yes. Welcome. I don't know how to pronounce the name though. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's so sweet, Joan. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. All right. I think I got everyone. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. I was talking with a curious Rose um, this morning because we just had to talk for some reason. This is like a story. And, um, you know, we were talking about, you know, live streams and, you know, how that goes because we have that shame shared experience. Um, you know, and I love doing live streams. Um, you know, they're different than just uploading video. I say just uploading videos, but I was saying to a curious Rose that, you know, my channel started out, you know, is I wanted to learn video editing. I was really concerned about issues of justice in general and in, in justice with this case particularly. And I was super intrigued by this case as well. So it all fit together. Um, and for about the first six months, I really just created videos and uploaded them without, you know, the live, without the chat, without the, all of this is so awesome. And I wasn't sure if I would ever do this live streaming chat thing because I didn't know a damn thing about YouTube. I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't really understand. I didn't get it. I just didn't get it. You know, my, he was, I don't know, 12 at the time, 12 year old was teaching me about this stuff. I wasn't sure how that would work. If, you know, I was like, I can't believe people are even subscribing. I don't think I can do this live thing. That's crazy. You know? Um, but you know, those uploaded videos that you edit and you upload, those are, this is a type of work, but in my opinion, those are hard work. A 20 minute video can take me 40 hours to create, depending on how or find is going to get and any creator, not just me, any creator, depending on a number of things, like how involved is it? How many like layers of information? And is there like an artistic edge to it? All of these different things, right? So um, I'm partly saying this, um, because this was part of the conversation I had with a curious Rose who I just love. She's such a lovely person. If somebody can drop her, the link to her channel in the chat, that would be amazing. She's going to be coming on panel. She has a channel and she's just a wonderful human being. Um, and great channel too, of course. A lot of people from this channel head over there at times. Now, I'm also mentioning that because I'm waiting for, <laughs> I feel like this is often happening. 
I had to create some new material today for this live and I'm waiting for something to upload right now, but it's okay because there's plenty in the meantime. Um, you probably didn't even have to know that. I could have just kept the magic behind the curtain, kind of like the Wizard of Oz, but that did not work out well for him, did it? Oh my gosh, do you guys know about the Wizard of I just learned this. The story, The Wizard of Oz, do you know that it's, uh, I'm not, I, I wanted to see if anybody knows about this. So I'm not going to say the specifics, but the whole story is like, um, al it's like an analogy, an allegory um, to a certain time period in United States history in particular. And I have loved The Wizard of Oz my entire life, ever since I was a wee little girl and I'm 43 years old now. And I did not know this until I was in on a high school history class this year with some of my special ed students that I was supporting. And I just, you know, happened to be hanging in this history class with this really good history teacher. So did you guys know that? I think that's wild. I guess if you knew that, you're not surprised by it. But do you guys know that? And does anyone know what time period in U.S. history um, the story of the Wizard of Oz is an analogy or allegory for? Uh, Talisa says uh, the Great Depression. Um, so, I mean, I could almost see that, too. Um, what I was told was a little different. If, if you if you guys heard differently and I'm saying no. Don't, please don't think I'm being a know-it-all. This is just what I was told by this history teacher. And then I looked it up because it was cool. Um, Farmer Tra oh, ah, let's see, Karen. You good girl. You good girl. Um, Farmer Troubles brought to Washington, as far as I remember. Mm, yeah, a little bit. The ah, yes, the Gilded Age. So it is the 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 industrial age, the age of industrialization, which you know happened. Um, it was the Civil War. Then it was, you know, the Jim Crow laws and trying to um, um, end segregation. But, you know, then really what happened, of course, is, you know, there's the North and the South and particularly the South. But really, most of the country found ways to legalize segregation. So it was like tongue in cheek segregation. Right. I mean, I still think that that actually does go on to a certain degree today. It's systemic racism. It's really hard to shake out. It can be hard to spot, right? Um, and then uh, some other things in uh, The Wizard of Oz were like, you know, it, and it, that lead, I'm sorry. And so then, then we have the age of industrialization um, when there's all of those, you know, big players, um, like J.P. Morgan and uh, Rockefeller and, oh my gosh, can't even think of who else right now. You know, these wealthy like iron or railroad or banking or my daddy got money, man, you know. Um, and then what that turned out to be was a whole lot of fronting, right? Sometimes it kind of reminds me, and please, no offense, but sometimes we talk about, I mean, anyone can do this, but particularly with the MLMs, sometimes people think that, you know, well, and she, Shanann did want to put on a nice front and it's a matter of opinion, whether that front was mostly fake or if there was a lot of substance beneath it. And let's not even go there tonight. I don't want to upset her family or anything, but it kind of almost reminds me of what we talk about in the Watts case sometimes, you know, just that facade and then very little underneath, like the Wizard of Oz being behind that curtain. And he's not a, he's not a freaking wizard at all. You know, Toto's like, he's afraid of Toto, right? <laughs> That's funny. So, um, and then the, uh, the yellow brick road is, you know, that, that, that gilded path that goes into the gilded age. I don't know. I just thought that was really fascinating, but that's not what we're talking about. I'm going too far. Um, let's talk about that another time. <laughs> so, um, of making, did you all hear about the horrible condition for the making of the movie? Horrible. Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, no. Jamie Smith and Utter Nutter. I don't even know. Only two big reasons CW fell hard for NKG, John. I wonder what those two big reasons are. You're so subtle. Keep it cool. Listen, you know, just respectful and chat, okay? <clears throat> We've got that out of the way. We know what the two big knockers are, okay? Um, so, yeah, that's it. 
Um, and you know, mods, you know, you know, you know. Um, yeah, so there's that, you know, supposedly somebody <clears throat> accidentally hung themselves. And it does look like you can actually see it, <clears throat> excuse me, in the background in one of the scenes, you know, when they're forging through the forest. And yeah, it's like it's sort of weird. But OK, so guys, what we're going to be looking at this evening is um, something that we're, we're going back to, believe it or not, my friends, we're going back to. Nate's security camera footage, you know, looking at the driveway that infamous morning of, um, you know, Monday, August 13th. Now, don't be like, oh, my God, same old shit, different day. Well, I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe. OK, but I, I don't think that's where we're going. Um, so I wish I wanted to put um, a video just with that entirety of that footage, the, the, the Nate security cameras driveway video footage on my channel, because people come to this channel at times, um, making the assumption, I think because of the name, like Watts, the obsession that it's going to be the, um, you know, the clearing house of all things, Watts information. Like there's going to be every resource. And although there, there are a lot of videos and there are resources, it doesn't have those resources. Um, it doesn't have the resources like, you know, every resource you can find it here. I want it to be that way, though. I mean, the name is Watsy Obsession. It almost invites that. So I want to give that to people. So anyhow, I was doing that. Um, and as I was trying to create that video to put on the channel, I was watching it. Every time I watch that video, I watch it with zero, zero expectation of seeing anything new, novel, um, it, it, you know, like, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I just feel like people have seen so many crazy stuff in that footage. Like, you know, the armchair detective seeing one of the girls, I believe is Bella, her shadow underneath the truck, which really just blew apart the district attorney's narrative that, um, everybody died in the home. I mean, that was huge, but there have been other, I mean, that was the biggest one, right? That was the biggest one for sure. But then there's been other, um, you know, kind of, I guess I'm going to say smaller, um, findings or, uh, you know, um, information that's been extracted as a result of just viewers and, you know, true crime people's analysis. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not a frog in my throat. It's the allergies. Hi, Slon Savvy 64. Nice to see you here. I didn't, didn't see you yet. Sorry. I didn't say hi. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, so that's that. Okay. And also let's see, Carol Ann. Hi, welcome Carol Ann also. And Kevin. Hi, welcome Kevin. Nice to see you, my friend. And if I missed anybody, I'm sorry, just please say hello. Um, so we can all say hi. Um, let's see, Carol Ann, the real footage. Ah, yeah. Okay. So Carol Ann says, um, let's see the real footage. You see a shorter person with a ponytail walk out. Um, walk out of the garage, yet police won't acknowledge it. Um, I I believe also it's a shorter person. I believe that that person is wearing their clothes um, in different dimensions and proportions than Chris Watts does. And we're going to actually, we can look at that today. I think that all that stuff is becoming almost obvious to point out at this point. I personally don't, and I'm not saying your comment's obvious. I love your comment. That's why I pinned it. Um, I personally don't see the ponytail. I wish I did. I just don't see it. But I mean, the resolution kind of sucks. So um, everything else I see is is enough for me. You know, um, you know, you can't. Ex I I feel the way I feel about it. I guess is like I can't expect to see every freaking detail, and the resolution is not very good. And um, you know, it's security camera footage, right? So yeah, and welcome by the way, Carolyn. I think I already said that. But welcome again. So while I'm still waiting. Oh my God, for this freaking video to upload, it's only 25%. Wait a minute. Hold it. Uh, well, I'm going to take a look at that while um, we're going to look at so a little bit, just a little bit, a police body cam 
footage and also just some still shots that show uh, the garage, the Watts garage from several different angles. Um, you know, Chris Watts in the garage, you know, just things going on in the garage. And this body cam footage is going to be absolutely critical when we look at Nate's security camera footage of what's up in the driveway and who's there and what they're doing. Ooh, I can't believe that we found something that, I mean, I don't know. I was talking to Curious Rose saying, have other people been talking about this? You know, I told her about what I was, what I saw and she was like, oh my gosh, I know. And I said, have other people been talking about that? And she did not really believe that to be the case, right? Curious Rose. So, um, you know, we'll see. But um, do you want to come up now, Curious Rose? Hi, Loba Medina. How are you? <laughs> he said, uh, says, I've, I've never been able to see that darn ponytail either. I know that freaking ponytail. I just want to rip it off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's Aussie True Crime. And hi, Aussie True Crime. I clicked on you for a reason, Den I'm so happy you're here. Welcome. <laughs> um, and I meant to say hi to you last night in a Curious Rose chat. I think I did, Aussie True Crime. It was really late. I'm sorry if I didn't, though. Um, some people were talking and I didn't want to interrupt them. So, um, so Lobo says, I've never been able to see that darn ponytail either, but my only device is a so-so phone. Jeez. Well, I've, you know, watched it, you know, doing all kinds of things with it on my large screen HD television. And I just can't see the damn thing, you know? So hi, Katerina. How are you? Welcome, my friend. Happy to see you here as always. Hi, honey. Yeah, go ahead. And a curious rose. I don't know if, let's see, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the uh, link in chat and then uh, whenever you want to come up a curious rose, you know, you're welcome to. So, so we decided that we were, you know, so she, uh, did I tell you guys, I'm so excited. A curious rose is our guest, our featured guest on watch the obsession tonight. Oh my gosh. That's like the biggest thing going on. I think that you guys probably, most of you already knew that. Sorry, I haven't like announced that yet. So that's what's up tonight. Special night. Um, oh, so let's see. Um, Susan Hughes, who you know is very insightful on this case, says to see the ponytail, you have to look at the light height. It's in line with the light on the right. Well, let's, we're gonna do that, Susan. Thank you very much. Hi, Lynn Chris. Welcome, nice to see you. Oh, and Lynn says, um, I don't see the ponytail either. I'm new on your channel. Welcome. I'm really happy you're here. Um, welcome to chat. I hope that everyone's welcoming you and please feel comfortable here. We're really happy you're here and you're part of the community and part of the team. Welcome. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Salon Savvy 64 says, I hope they disclose that nobody died in the home sale of house. I, maybe they did, but I still think that's debatable. I still think, I still, I still envision things going down as um, Shanann took her last breath in the house. I might be wrong. I'm not like attached to it, but that's how I believe. I don't know. So mm -hmm. let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me put the link in the chat. can't believe this damn thing is still uploading. I really need, I have, have I told you guys I need to get a new computer? I'm, I'm like a broken record on so many levels. Um, but I guess if I think if I keep telling myself these things, <laughs> they'll eventually come to fruition. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, this is a hard one. So you guys can read that. Um, we were talking about this a little bit during the last live stream and yeah, it's a hard one. You know, I believe where this story came from was um, through the telling of Cheryl and Cadle and um, whatever information or conversation was transmitted between Chris Watts and Cheryl and Cadle. And, you know, I personally, Sherilyn's she's, she's like a lovely woman and I believe some, some things and, um, there are some things I, I don't believe because they've proved like inconsistent in my opinion, but just, I just wanted to let everybody know who's reading that this is a, you know, this is a big thing. Um, it's hard to, 
really hard to think about. I'm not even going to read it out loud. You can read the comment I just pinned. Um, but that that's where that comes from. As far as I know, that's the only source of that story, which may very well be true. If anyone knows differently, please set us straight <laughs> because um, add to the information because I, I don't know it all, even though I think I do. No, I'm just kidding. I know I don't know it all. Please. Please, I know very little. I'm just a little person. Hi, Tammy Wells. How are you? Welcome. Nice to see you. So many awesome people here. I love it. Oh, and hi, Jazz. How are you? The house The house just sold. Are you serious? Can someone go verify that? I'm Not that I don't believe you. Not that I don't believe you, Jazz. I've just been hearing that for the last few days, and I have been right on the money with that. I have two sources that are triggers, I think, for when that house does sell. I haven't even looked at my um, text messages or, you know, I guess it might be getting late for one of them different time zone. But um, if anyone can check that out, that'd be amazing. Because if, hey, we could talk about that right here in the live, it would be great. Hey, Kelly, if it's circled, you'll see it. Oh, the ponytail. Okay, cool. So we're going to go with Susan Hughes method. <laughs> and then um, maybe if somebody can kind of guide me where to circle or if I don't know if somebody would be able to circle it on my video. Let's circle that bad boy. That long ponytail. Um, whoopsie. Okay. Um, greetings. <laughs> Molson man at all. What's the obsession? Fan? You're so funny. Oh, my God. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, at Utter Nutter, Jamie Smith, Molson Man, at all. He's, I didn't know he was at all. <laughs> um, Watts the Obsession fam, greetings and salutations. That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yes, John, be good. Oh, John, you're, you'll be good, John, right? Promise me, promise me. Can't have any problems tonight, John. <laughs> Not that you'd ever create a problem. I'm sorry. Um, they're just taking key people. Yeah, right. They're just, yeah. So Link Crisp is saying they're just taking key people. So I, I made a video about this. Actually, the day that it was um, broke in the Daily Mail, which I think was May 26. I don't know. I spent a whole nice afternoon making the freaking video. But it's okay. I wanted to, to get it out quick. Um, yeah, so people have to show a letter of financial backing, of financial fortitude in order to even get a showing or else, you know, they'd be entertaining all of us. Right. So thank you, John. You're the best. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. They, they gave it the, they gave it a fake address. I don't think they, I don't think they changed the name of the street, but whatever. We'll look at that later. We've got, we've got some, um, some, some, some stuff, big stuff to look at tonight. So I need to stay focused. So um, I think I put the link up there, a curious row. So again, there's no rush, but anytime you do want to come up, you're welcome. So there it is again. So let's first, um, gosh, is this video is still loading. And oh, that's right. I'm going to take a look at it while I start sharing this with you guys. So this is just various body cam footage perspectives um, from law enforcement that was on the scene on August 13th. Um, and we're, you know, looking at the garage and the garage area. No surprise. So this is picking up right at the point, I believe, where Nicole Atkinson and her son, Nick Atkinson, and um, Officer Coonrad, or I want to say Conrad. I don't know why people call him Coonrad. Which one is it? To me, it looks an awful like like Conrad. Um, but where, you know, they have been scoping out the house. Um, you know, they seem eager to get a hold of Shanann, a little concerned about where she could be and the state that she and the children are in. And, you know, I think with what Nicole Atkinson knew about Shanann's mental state and how broken she was feeling and how crappy she was feeling from a tough pregnancy from, in my opinion, being nearly overdosed on Oxycontin or at least given a lot of Oxycontin that she wasn't used to taking. I can only imagine when you're pregnant. I remember having to take like Percocet for my like wisdom teeth or I don't, anything like that it just makes me, uh, makes my, my stomach turn. So I can't even imagine the, oh my God, like morning sickness in combination with that sounds like hell. Um, so, you know, her friends and people close to her 
knew what a delicate situation she was in. So I can absolutely understand why, you know, Nicole Atkinson went from like one to a hundred in like 0.5 seconds. So I think she was being a good friend. That's my opinion. Yeah, the house was on the market again, redone and repainted. Plunder has a video on the listing. I have a video of the listing too, but I'm just kidding. I love Plunder. Plunder, I couldn't, Plunder is like my idol. I could, Plunder could do everything better than me. I aspire, I aspire to be Plunder, but yes, you're right. But I don't, last I checked, I don't think it sold. She put a video up that was just one minute long speculating on whether it sold or not. And she saw the same thing I did. I didn't put a video up on it though. Um, the, that the listing of the house came down off of the listing agent's website. Okay. But I believe that hat, oh, that happened on May 24th, which means the article in the daily mail, when I put the video, it wasn't the 26th. I think it was the 21st because it was prior to when the, um, the, um, the financial um, backing letters from individuals' banks were due on May 24th. On May 24th, the house also came off of the selling agent's listing, you know, service. And I think that's why, because, you know, the letters were due then. Um, they said that they were going to be really tight about it. We're going to wrap this up tight. We don't want a bunch of, you know, people like us, like true crime, like Watts, curious people walking in and out of the house and wasting their time. You know, it's their, you know, it's their livelihood. Um, so I think that's why the listing was taken off of the selling agent's website. Like that made sense to me. So I didn't jump on a video about that and I haven't been able to find anything since, but let's keep an eye on it guys. I love it when I learn things from you guys, which is quite often. So, all right, well, let's just take a look at this. Let's get a uh, John's promise. John's pledge is coming down off the screen, but y'all saw it. So at this point, I just kind of set it up and then pretty soon Watts is going to be jogging up the driveway and let's just watch. Okay. It's not going to be too long. with your same name. Welcome, welcome. So happy you're here, by the way. Everyone, uh, be, please be respectful in chat. We're always respectful in chat on this channel. <sighs> Kelly, can you see your Facebook messenger? Sure, yeah. I, I, Listen, if you send me messages on Facebook Messenger, well, which I think you may have, the day. The um, hold it, let me pause this. And this is a message to everybody. Um, so, you know, Joan was, Joan was just pointing out to me the other day that, you know, I have my rabbit tree. I raise my bunnies. We have like, I don't know, over 20 resident bunnies right now. And we foster bunnies and we breed bunnies and we're finding bunnies home. And I'm cleaning because bunnies, 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 man, like I live and bathe in bunny poop. It's like the most absurd thing. Okay. So recently on the community post, I've been putting pictures of our bunnies. Um, check it out. They're so cute. Um, so there's that. And then I just started a new job, but I'm always working hard. I'm a special educator and behavioral and applied behavioral analyst. Um, and then I also teach yoga classes. <laughs> And the YouTube channel that I love so much, What's the Obsession? And I'm a single mom. And, you know, so um, I get really busy. So is my point, just like everyone else does. Um, but I have these good ideas. Like I'm going to set up a Facebook group. And I'm Facebook group for, for, for the, this channel, for the case. And I'm glad I did. Um, but I'm terrible, guys, at moderating it, at overseeing it, at keep it keeping it going. And more so, and I'm so sorry if this ever has offended or upset anyone. Um, I absolutely suck at responding to messages. I will see them like during my work day, can't respond then, something like that. <clears throat> and then I'll forget to go back to them. But um, Stacia or Stacia, Stacia, <laughs> I, I will check it uh, right now though, since you're mentioning it for sure. Um, and then uh, Curious Rose, are you here? If you are, come on up, girl. And then. We're going to go to the uh, main event, but I want to wait for her. So, oh, let me hold it. Okay. So did, um, let's see. 
I sent her that pic of the person walking down the driveway. Oh, awesome, girl. I'm going to check that right straight away. Thank you, girl. That's great. Um, Megan Beck says, so did C and welcome, Megan. Um, so did CW pull her car in once he was done? Because it doesn't look like both cars could fit. So, God, this is a really um, good one, too. Does anyone know the answer to that? Um, I've seen some people make an attempt at trying to, uh, you know, research the dimensions of each car and then research the dimensions of the garage based on, I don't know if it was the blueprint of the house or one of the model homes. It's a three-car garage home um, in that same development. Um, but I, I've never wrapped my head around it. I do think it's important though, particularly, particularly with what Megan, we're going to be looking at today. I think those dimensions where the truck is relative to the width of the driveway, you know, and the width of the garage, I think that's really important. So maybe, um, I'm going to, well, I actually am teaching I te I'm teaching algebra. I can do math. I'm going to have to, uh, maybe I'll make it a project for myself and my students. Give it to my kids to figure out. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, Facebook. Group. Oh, yeah. That's Joan. Damn. You're good, girl. You're good. Yes, my face. Is that my Facebook group? Yeah. She's good. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. 200 people in chat. That's so amazing. Oh, but only 20 likes. That's such a bummer. Help me out, guys. Help the channel out. Like I just said, I got to sustain us somehow. <laughs> but you guys are all wonderful and you uh, all help in your way. Kessentricity obsession. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. I would love that, John. Do it. Do it. We'll be partner channels and you will remain my friend, my nemesis. Where's a curious rose? I need a partner here so I can check my Facebook. Let's see. And also, I don't want to move forward till she's here. So, okay, so let's take a look. Let's look at a couple other shots of the garage. Actually, I think that's important. Hi, um, Sugar's Mama. So glad you're here. I just saw you, sweetie. Welcome. Sorry I didn't say hi yet. So let's see. So this is just, let's see. Oh, this dude's face is like kind of in the way. Ugh, I hate that when people put their face in the way. <laughs> Get your face out of the way, dude. We don't want to see your face. Oh, look, there's my face. Get my face out of the way, dude. <laughs> my face wasn't in the way, though. Um, well, I mean, I guess for someone, maybe it was if they were looking for something different. Um, all right. So here, let me share this. <clears throat> You know, actually, what we're seeing on the screen right now is kind of the most important thing to look at, okay? What I need you to notice, and, and afterwards, we can look at other um, perspectives of the garage and, you know, be even more thorough about it. But what I think is really important to notice is that on that, that wall of the garage that we're looking at right now, on the opposite side of the Lexus, there's no shelves, right? There's no shelves. Remember the reaching? Mm -hmm. There's no shelves to put something on. Um, if you weren't reaching for one of those, you know, um, long sticks, it almost looks like they're siding panels or something. I don't know. Whatever those long objects are, if you were not reaching for one of those, if you were coming into the garage from the driveway, there wouldn't really be anything for you to grab. Do we agree on that? Or does anyone else have a different thought when they're looking at that wall? I know this is really dry right now and that might seem like a stupid question, but I mean, it needs to be answered. Let's get all Camille Vasquez on us, okay? <laughs> Love her. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no drama in chat, please. Um, that's we don't. That's not how we roll. So people have way different opinions um, on this channel, and that's what I want. Um, it's not the Kelly show. It's not about me. It's not about my theories. It's not about my opinion. It's not about you know getting a bunch of people on this channel that will tell me I'm right or that share my opinion. 
it's about you guys. <laughs> it's about, you know, for me, it's about complete justice for the victims. Um, and also just, you know, a forum to share this fascination that so many different kind of people seem to have with true crime in general and this case. Um, and uh, although I have my opinion on certain things, I only ever blocked seven people from this channel, and there were very good reasons for that. We've been around, we just turned a year the other day, and I delete or remove comments almost never. I mean, there are comments all over videos on my channel that are really nasty about me. They're really nasty about someone else to the point might hurt their feelings or make their day worse. And we don't know, I don't know how someone else is feeling. I have to take it down, but it, you know, the bar is pretty high before I'm going to take something down or block people. That's how I want things to continue. But the key there is what makes that work is that people are just, you know, understand others have different opinions, that there's a freaking lot of passion around this case. People get fired up about this case. And I think that's good. If people didn't get, didn't get fired up about this case as egregious as it was, that would be seriously like screwed up, right? So that's it. I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. Yes, I just appreciate all you guys. And, you know, even when somebody states their opinion or, you know, talks about something and I'm just thinking, you know, first like, oh my God, seriously, there's no way. But then when I hear them out, you know, it's, it's always valuable. I mean, not to, it, I just, I believe that. Um, I know, I know what. So John says Watts case equals hundred percent drama. It does, but this is, this is as drama free as it's going to be. So Tammy tonight, I think that, um, Tammy Wells tonight, I think that, um, we were just, well, I don't know. Has anyone seen a curious Rose? Because we were just going to keep it closed to her being, um, the guest, but I don't know. She may have fallen asleep. She was up all night. Oh my goodness. That would be. Oh, well, it would be what it, it is, what it is. She was up all night doing a live stream with y'all. Y'all spoiled brat. She stays up all night with you guys. Crazy woman. Crazy. But I'm so sorry, Tammy. I don't mean to be rude by saying that. Um, but I don't know. Do you want to come up for... Um, let's see. Oh, wait. Let's see. Hold it. Let me get this thing from Stacia. Yeah, Tammy, why don't you come up for a minute? Because I've got to check my... Um, I've got to check my Facebook and anything anyway, so I don't know why I'm being weird. Oh, Molson Man says I, I'm that uh, he texted her and there's no response yet. So, okay, that's all good. So I'm going to put the link in chat, okay? There it is, Pam. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I was, like, being a jerk. <laughs> there are a lot of people here, Lori. Yeah. Um, let's see. So what is it that we missed? What do you... Pride or honest, we, we're, we're still working up to this now because I'm looking for my guest for this evening, but we're not sure if she possibly fell asleep. <laughs> Nancy, and if you're here, I love you, girl. You're awesome. And yeah, that's it. So, okay. All right, girl. So, hi, Tammy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you, hear you. How are things going? Yeah, good. Four days until I turn the big four O. Oh, oh, it's not so bad. You're going to be just fine, honey. <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Aww. Okay. I, I was like I said in chat. I'd only have two things quickly to point out, if that's okay. Sure. Thank you. I okay. appreciate that. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you for letting me come up. Of and course. thanks for letting sorry, me. Sorry, I didn't mean to be weird about that. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> if she comes up, I'll pop down straight away. No, it's all good. It's, all good. it's like it's cool anyway. It's fine. It's good. I'm glad you're here. So go ahead. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. In this particular video, like further mm -hmm. along, uh, Chris um demonstrates how can I put it? Reconstructs where the doorbell camera picks up from. Okay. And he only stands about two or three steps away from the front door. But when we've seen the footage right. of Shanann arriving home that morning, she's mm -hmm. further away and we're led to believe that. Yeah. It's not. Wait, I didn't so hear you. I'm trying just to... dropped off. Wait, 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 sweetheart. Please say that again. It may just be me. You dropped yeah. off just for a moment there. When? That's a good part. Yeah. When Shanann... 
when Chris is demonstrating where the doorbell camera picks up from, yeah, it's only four or five steps away from the front door, and he's still on the veranda. Uh, but right, when right, I remember that. Point, as we all know, that footage of her walking up the driveway, going to the door. My mm -hmm. question is. What footage is that coming from where we're led to believe that that's a doorbell camera, but it's not? Okay, so you're of the mind that it's not the doorbell camera. No, I don't believe it is. I think it's okay. some other footage that it came from because mm -hmm. when Chris demonstrates where the doorbell camera picks up from, oh, this is where it starts working from. And like I said, he's still on the veranda. But when but wait a minute, kind of, but are we going to take his word? Are we just taking his word in that case? Because I don't take his word. I don't take his word for anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's but, what I'm saying. okay. So, yeah, so maybe. From yeah. Further. Mm. And people in chat were um, curious, uh, were saying things like, how would Nicole Kessinger get in and out without being picked up from um, Nate's um, camera? Uh -huh. The answer be for me is that she would have exited through the back way because in a few interviews where Chris is talking to news reporters and stuff, he is saying that there are no cameras out the back. So that's right. how yeah. Sure that thing. He, no, that's the, right. That's absolutely right. And the fact that there is so like, I watch a lot of like forensic files, 48 hours, you know, and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And like um, they the best that, programming on television, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I watch more. I watch more of those cases, and there was one that said that it doesn't matter how much you clean a house, if a body has been has died in a property or anywhere, the mm -hmm. cadaver dog, whatever they're called, will pick up on the scent no matter how much you clean. Now, how is it that the well, I don't believe that Shanann died in the house. I don't think the mm -hmm, girls died in. The house. Mm -hmm. I think that okay, they, so. So I've mm -hmm. heard, I've heard just um, um, from from experts and not Amber Heard's experts, like legit qualified professional experts. I've heard both what you just said, Tammy. And I've also mm -hmm. heard that, um, you know, if a body was just there for a short time, say I've heard to up to under half an hour or an hour, um, the cadaver dogs might not pick up that scent because decomposition has not truly yet begun. I, and I don't know. And I've read, and then I've looked it up and what I find are experts, you know, saying those two different things. Does anyone here yeah. know anything about that? Yeah. Have any expertise in that area? Cause we really need that. <laughs> Exactly. And I just, like, I wrote it in chat and I think if I did upset anybody by saying it, I do apologise. Um, mm. About how oh, Nicole Kessinger was talking about how Shanann was unwell all weekend and all of that sort of stuff. But yet, yeah. even though, even if Shanann was as stubborn as a, whatever the most stubborn thing is in the world, even mm. if she was, why didn't Nicole Kessinger help her to the door? with her suitcase if she was that unwell and she, you know, she wasn't eating, she wasn't drinking and she was weak yeah. and all the rest. Why I wouldn't I mean, I mean, that, that's a good question. And, you know, that is a good question, but, you know, I also think, you know, she, I, I believe, <laughs> let me pat myself on the back. I always say I would be such, I'd be a great gentleman. I'd be such a good boyfriend. Cause I always open doors for people and things like that, even no matter who it is, or like, I like to help people yeah. with things. But I don't think everyone is like that. And Nicole Atkinson might be the kind of person that is aware that Shanann is not well, but she's not going to go to the effort at 2 o'clock in the morning to get her ass out of a car to help her lug her suitcase in. I just think that exactly. way, I, you know. Nicole Kessinger walking in the front door, the first thing, not, for me, I think that the moment they were knocking at the doors, knocking at the windows or whatever and yelling out, is anybody home, make yourself known, the first thing I would have thought to myself if – you know, for a moment, you find out that you're someone that you're going there to do a welfare check. Her husband and her are separating. You find out that before you even go in the house. You find sure. that out. First yeah. thing I've done is thought, okay, well, there's something a bit strange. She's not answering the door. She's not answering the phone through phone call or text messages. We mm -hmm. need to actually consider this scene, this house, a crime scene. Because you think uh -huh. about it, you walk into um a hospital you know that there's going to be people there sick sure. dying and right. all the rest of it. 
So the first thing you would want to think is, okay, well, she's not answering the phone, not answering the door. We need to put on gloves and protective footwear because we could t- potentially be walking into a crime scene. Sure. Like, at any point you walk into a house where there's, you know, you find out that husband and wife are separating, the first thing you want to do is think, okay, there could be something sus here. But they, they're walking throughout mm. the house doing a welfare check. Nicole Kessinger looks and goes, ah. Uh, kind of looks sort of go, I don't want to go up those stairs, but I don't really want to. So she just walks past them. That yet when everybody walked in, all they did was look around. Nobody yelled out to her name, um, Shanann's name. Nobody yelled out squat when they got in the house. Right, and yet yeah. Me is by walking around the house, opening doors, closing doors, moving bits mm-hmm. of um, like the curtain yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. Could have been wearing gloves. And I've said that for so mm-hmm. long now, I've lost count. So if you ever see me putting in gloves, in pictures of gloves in the chat, that's what I simply mm-hmm. mean by that. Oh, and, uh, okay, I see. Okay. I did that for a few chats. I just put gloves, hello. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. It makes me think, well, you're touching a door that could have potentially led to the garage that could have mm-hmm. had Nicole Kessinger's fingerprints on it. You right, chose not right. to and no disrespect to any channel, and I don't mean to say this to sound harsh when I say this, there are mm. so many people that do still discuss this case, and I commend every mm. single one of those. Sure. The thing that makes me laugh and think to myself is that so many people are focused on that thing that happened mm-hmm. from Nicole's phone that morning. But did anybody check how long after that phone pinged at that particular time, how long after that and where did her phone ping next? Yeah, I checked yeah. that. <laughs> okay, how long was it between? <laughs> so um, so it's like this. So, you know, there's the 100. I, I've done several videos about it actually recently. I did the Nicole Kessinger fact-based documentary part one, um, <laughs> if you watch that. And I, then I have the version that's everything you need to know under 20 minutes. So you can get all that in under 20 minutes. I race through it. So um, there's the 111 minute phone conversation that's from like 9:38 to 11 or yeah, 9:28 to 11, 19 p.m. something like that. So in regards to what's on her phone, morning. the next what? I'm talking about the ping that happened the morning of. You know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm so sorry, then the sorry. next, but but the whole picture of the, I, I you know, I've been focusing on what I've been calling the Nicole Kessinger. Sunday and Monday timeline. And I think it's a big deal. So I just wanted to like, kind of get people up to speed on this. Cause it's kind of sort of how I frame things at times on the channel. Um, Oh, Oh my God. Jeez. That was like, sorry. That was like the dogs. I was looking for something. Um, that was really loud. I don't know if it was loud for you too. Sorry. I screamed. Um, so then, at, then after that was here, let me just get a quick visual. Cause I got it right here. I was, it was what I was about sorry. to say for the intro there. Give me just one sec. So then, oh. um, so then after that, there is that phone call that you're talking about, or I'm sorry, the phone call where it pings, right? At 6, 16 a.m. So after that, let me show you. Give me just one sec, guys. Now it's got to be done. <laughs> uh, just give me one sec here. No, no, it's good. I mean, I, I want people, people need to, in my opinion, the reason I keep talking about this, guys, is not because I don't have anything else to talk about or I want to keep talking about this. To your point, Kevin, I'm looking forward to this channel moving on to other cases as well. Now, don't worry, everyone. We're going to still have Watts in the picture, but I need to throw some other things in the mix, if only for my own sanity and yours too. Um, But, you know, I think the reason I keep talking about it is because I believe it's absolutely critical. And I believe where we're looking when we're talking about this is where we need to be looking in order in order for complete justice to be served for the victims. And that's where my main concern is. So um, hold it here. Let me get to where we are. Um, All right. Where we need to be, I mean. Okay. Sorry, Kevin, you're going to hate this. You might want to go get a cupcake or a coffee or something. Kevin, you're going to hate it. (laughs) So hold up. (laughs) Um, And... I don't know why my then, um, avatar is not showing up. Oh, I don't know, my dear. So this is the <laughs> documentary I speak of. So, okay. Highway. 
the distance from that car to the Frederick Tower. This is about the ping. I got the information from the person who I used to work for when I was a site acquisition specialist. Um, he's very in embedded in the telecom industry. So he was able to get me the map of the towers and the antennas as they were in August of 2018, and specifically those for just that service just Verizon, because that was Nicole Kessinger's carrier. Here we go. Or that car to any one of the towers to the right. The distance of the towers on the right is a lot less with a strong enough bandwidth than the distance of somebody traveling on that highway to the Frederick Tower. Now, the highway I'm talking about, you see all the Kessinger pictures going up that highway. That's the way she traveled to work. So what this tells me, really beyond a shadow of a doubt, is that she was right in the vicinity of 2825 Saratoga Trail. So now let's move on to the 111 minute phone call and NK's personal time. Now I feel like you don't think that's going in your direction, but we're getting there. So guys, the 111 minute phone call, well, here's, here's the points about it. And then we'll answer Tammy's question specifically. Then the 111 minute phone call, guys, the next three longest calls lasted 51 minutes 52 minutes and 54 minutes respectively. So you see, that's a really long phone call. We could probably say, because there's only a short period of time that we don't have their phone records, according to when they say their relationship was occurring. It's probably safe to say that was the longest phone call that they ever had. So even when you look at, this all ping information, this little you know unofficial timeline here, we see that their 111 minute phone call pointed to by this big red arrow starts at 928 that Sunday evening, August 12th, and it ends at 1119. There's no activity on NK's phone until so we're getting right there, Tammy. the 616 a.m. ping the morning of August 13th. We see right here when she had a one minute phone call to her friend Jim is highlighted in yellow. The next activity, guys, on her phone was not until 2.28 p.m. And that call was initiated in Platteville. That's where she works. And again, this is a very unusual pattern for NK to not have any activity on her phone throughout the whole day. Okay. <laughs> told you guys that <laughs> there's the 111 minute phone call was conspicuously missing from the official discovery timeline so now ain't that something what I mean ain't that something so here you see we are this is the official redacted discovery so you see right here in the middle of the page begins august 13th well if you just go up a little bit you're going into August 12th. Now I want you to see how they included like everything that happened on August 12th. Everything that Chris Watts did on August 12th is in this discovery. Look at this is a lot of information is compared to the other dates in the official timeline in the discovery. It's like five or six pages long. Okay. So look, yeah. August 12th starts right here. We have everything okay, that so Watts there. did starting. So now, but what's interesting though, Tammy is, you know, this is when we start going down the rabbit hole because I, after I did the timeline of Nicole Kessinger on Sunday and Monday, I did the Nicole Kessinger demands proof timeline and trans and I, re I, I recall that I had forgotten that there was one interview it was a phone interview between Nicole Kessinger and Kevin Kobach. It was the one that happened on August 21st, 2018. So that phone interview is recorded and we have the audio. And at a certain point, my friends, that audio just cuts off. Well, it's right after that it cuts off. If you search really hard, you can find the transcript that continues um, that interview. And what you'll find out is that Nicole Kessinger is now talking to Kevin Kobach about Chris Watts telling her that he won't be going into the office on Monday morning, my sweet empanada. Somebody on the channel pointed out to me very rudely, it's not empanada, like I've been saying, it's empanada. So empanada, empanada. And um, <laughs> and uh, he's going to be going straight out to the field. Well, now, initially, 
when she talked to Kevin Kobach about that because the question came up and that was twice prior to this. It was no big deal. You know, often they would do that, blah, 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 blah. Well, now she's saying like, it's a big deal. It's weird that he went out there. Why is he checking the oil release? The um, health, safety, and environmental team should be doing that because she's in health and safety after all. So now she's raising questions about it. So she goes on to tell Kobach that she was questioning it to the point that she actually demanded proof from Watts that he was there, out that he was out in the field that morning. And so she goes on to explain how that all went down. Now, hold up, pause button. She had told law enforcement four or five times at least prior to that that she did not speak with Chris Watts on the phone during that day on Monday, August 13th until like the evening, five or something. He missed some calls from her and I don't know the exact seconds. I'm starting to get confused with this space-time continuum of Nicole Kessinger. But um, uh, when she's recalling to Kevin Kobach, her demanding proof, she says, you know, and he asked me like, I've read, I read this and there's so many likes you can hardly get through. Because remember, all we have is a transcript. They did not give us the audio of this part, which is very interesting to me. So she's like, you know, like I didn't, he didn't like know what like to give me like for proof like, but I really need like proof because it was like really weird. I was like, why would you like go to a release? Like you can do like a lockout tag out like, but you know, like it should be like the like, like environmental team that goes to check that out. So basically I'm going to stop with the likes. You get the point. So, so she said, well, you can send me a communication between yourself and your coworker. So he, he did that and the record of him texting her that communication is also not in discovery. And then he also sent her the same picture of the release that he had sent to Cody Roberts that, that sent to her again is also not in discovery. The most important thing in my opinion is when she was explaining that to Kevin Kobach, she said, and before I could even get off the phone with him, I had the picture, but you know, I was looking at it and I had to ask him some questions because you really couldn't tell what day or time it was from. Therefore, admitting to Kevin Kobach that she was, in fact, on the phone with him that day, that morning, because we know she was. <clears throat> Very weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I can't stand Nicole Kessinger. I reckon that she needs to be put on a lie detector test. And every time she lies, she gets zapped. But I don't, yeah. I don't think animal cruelty. Like a dog with a collar, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's needed. But, no, yeah. I just think, like I said, you know, the fact that I've got to stop saying like too. Oh, my God. I'm just, <laughs> every time someone comes up to me, so what's it like? I'm like, Ugh. You know? I know. So, <laughs> so listen, I'm, I'm going to start moving along now because my video is done. I'm really excited about this. And no, I have, I started, I started a new job. I have to, I have a commute and I have to be at work bright and early. So I'm just going to move on. Just letting everyone know. I'm sorry. I make abrupt turns sometimes on this channel. I'm an only child. I'm an only everything. I'm a single mom. I'm not used to have to like, you know, I'm just, I make my turns when I freaking make them. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. <laughs> You're, you're, but rude. you're awesome all right but, um, thank you thank honey you, thank you for putting out those things i much appreciate it yeah and I, again soon and you're welcome on my panel on my birthday if you want to be there i would love to be what when's your birthday I'll, I'll write it down i'll make a point of it well, um, on sunday the 5th of june so that will probably be your saturday but i'm doing one in Perfect. the morning and one in the evening awesome i love it yeah i'm there girl i'm i just wrote it yeah, down awesome. so I'll, I'll make it there so oh, happy early good. birthday. Good. Thank awesome. You. Thanks for coming on. Thanks um, for letting me. So, bye. Bye. Um, Marcy, Marcy, welcome. Hello. I haven't said hello to you yet. Welcome to the channel. Nice to see you here. Marcy, you say um, armchair detective called this in uh, 2018. And of course, someone else was present. Um, what did he call in 2018? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the armchair detective. I just was interested to know exactly what you were talking about. Cause sometimes I miss things every now and then I miss things all the time. Who am I kidding? You know, it's like, um, so I've been hard on MLMs and a couple of uh, the subscribers are involved in MLMs. And I think that may have been a little offensive to them. Just take, do remember, you know, I've been as hard as anyone on MLMs and from my personal experience, um, there are people that do actually work 
hard in them um, and they're honest and their numbers are honest and everything. And just remember that. That's all. You know, talk about what you want, but just do remember that. Um, what's weird? Wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> um, oh, Lobo, thank you. Kelly's the opposite of road. Thank you. I don't want to be rude. It's not good. Hi, Devil R. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm really glad you're here. Um, it's um, $2.99 to become a member. I will, I'll put the link up uh, when I get a second, too. It's just $2.99. just helps the channel because, you know, it, it just, it, it's a, frankly, it's just, it's a lot of time to put into the channel. And like, I have, I teach yoga. I have to do side gigs. I'm a single mom. I have a big mortgage and a whatever. And I like to do some things with my kid every now and then. So, you know, I have to make sure my life is in such a balance. Like that's what's up. So I really appreciate it guys. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, so, for, uh, and welcome. What's brick. I don't want to say the name of brick wall. Welcome by the way. Nice to see you here. So brick wall says I'm looking at Nate and think it is interesting that initially he told law enforcement that Shanann and Chris would scream each other a lot. Right. And he made a point to say a lot. Right. Um, then he redacted that statement. Why? I know. I, I wonder why that is too. And, you know, Tammy Lee, when they were interviewing Chris Watts in Dodge prison in Wisconsin, she even says, well, like, didn't a neighbor or something say there was a lot of fighting? And Dave Baumhofer corrects her and says, oh, yeah, you know, well, he later redacted that statement and da 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 But that's all we hear about that, you know? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Okay. So um, let's see. So what was debunked? Let's see. Um, I just want to catch up with you guys. Now we're going to move on to the main feature with no curious rose, but that's okay. Maybe, I don't know. I, Wilson Mann or DTC or someone would like to come up. Um, would either of you like to come up? <laughs> uh, let's see. And if you don't want to, that's okay too. Um, bum, bum, bum. I don't know. I can't pick up on chat. So I'm going to just see if I find anything. If not, I'm going to have to move on, unfortunately. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so I don't know anything about this pre-development and building in Tennessee. That's very interesting, um, but I, I had never heard anything about that. I'd like to learn more about it. But, yeah, the woman Vonda um, said they argued in the driveway. She did say that. So Vonda is Nate's mother. She's the actual owner of the house. And pride and honesty, I also knew you weren't being rude, by the way, darling. I love you. I think redacted because they realized it was NK and CW yelling each other. That you, this man, I'm telling you, always comes up with a good chisel. That probably, that's probably right. Ugh, dang, boy. I never even thought of that. Did anyone else think of that? Did you guys think of that? Be honest. I never even thought of that. Cheapers that could vary. I don't know, but it could be it. Um. Yeah, she must have fallen asleep. It's all good. Do you want to come up, Molson Man, or are you all uh, live streamed out? <sighs> Uh, dude, stop with a bikini pic, John, please. Please, John, stop, please, seriously. I get, John, I get emails about like, please don't, okay? It's not, it's not good for the channel. Please just stop with that, okay? I really, really would appreciate it, my friend, my nemesis, okay? Um... Oh, <laughs> who said maybe it was Shanann Watts yelling at Chris Martin? Maybe. I mean, we, you know, I don't personally buy a lot into that, but, you know, I don't know everything either. Okay, so no one wants to come on panel. That's cool. You don't have to. I'm not going to twist your arm, seriously. I'm going to I'm gonna hog up all this space to myself. I love it. Oh, John, I was going to ask you if you wanted to come up, but we can't, we can't do that other, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. I hope you don't think I'm reprimanding you like a child. Yes. No, I, I am serious though. So we're just going to leave it at that. Um, but, and I mean, there's there, I mean, that's not the only thing. So if anyone thinks I was just referring to you, I'm not, if you know what I mean, wink, wink. Um, this is a separate thing. So, <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Got to keep some things confident. Um, that's okay. John McSmith. Yes, we're, well, it's not, I don't know if it's like, 
and didn't call it new evidence, but just, yes, we're going to sometime soon. I'm just trying to get through chat and see if anyone did want to come up on panel since my guest isn't here. So Molson Man is no. Is DTC still here? Let's see. All right. If anyone would like to come up on panel, let's leave it like this. I'm going to leave the link. And if you'd like to come on panel, click it, come backstage. If um, I think you're not going to make me pull my hair out, if you come on panel, I will welcome you into the front entrance. <laughs> oh, God. All right. It's true that cadaver dogs long after tons of clean. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that Utter Nutter, are you here? You sent some interesting things about you, us, The I think the moderators and myself. Oh my God, Curious Rose just got here. Girl, I was just about to move on to the video. I've covered everything else. I was treading water. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you're here. Okay, come on up. You better get up here. I've been treading water. I'm tired now. I've been treading water for a long time. Just kidding, honey. It's all good. <laughs> So funny. Yay, Curious Rose. Everyone give a Curious Rose a round of applause. She was entertaining um, the minions, you're our minions, um, by staying up all night with them doing trivia last night, which I thought was cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Huh? <laughs> I was up there for a while and then I like woke up and then they were still doing trivia. <laughs> oh, you guys are so crazy. I love you. You're awesome. That is like a, that's a, no, that's a dedicated creator. But I mean, also these live streams go so long so easily and you don't even realize it because people are into it, you know? Um, yeah, I know, Kevin, when you came up here the last time you didn't talk about any oil field stuff. I thought about that after you left. Someday we need to do this. You need to do that. Um. I don't think some people like me. What are you talking about? Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, she does deserve a break. You're right, Joan Bradley, but she doesn't get a break because she's our featured guest tonight. So, psh, zip those lips. Mm -hmm. um, okay, here we go. Here she is. Welcome, a curious rose. How are you, my darling? Hi, I'm so I'm so sorry. Welcome, That's all right. I mean, I knew I was like she probably fell asleep. The poor thing hasn't slept. I'm, so I'm getting feedback from you. I just I had I just turned my YouTube off. I'm cool. sorry. I'm just Perfect. on the screen no right now. No worries. Oh my gosh, girl, you must be exhausted. <laughs> well, it was the heat. It was the hundred degrees in the room. The damn air conditioning. <laughs> Not sleeping That's right. since. Two nights ago, but you know what? Know. I'm all right now. Sorry. I'm oh, refreshed. I'm thing. refreshed. Oh. I know. All right. Okay. Whoops. Shit. Where'd you go? Are you there? Oh, crap. Did she fall off? Get back on. Get back on that horsey. <laughs> I'm holding her to this one. All right. Hold it. Let me uh, get that off and find the video we're going to be looking at. Hmm. <clears throat> If she comes back, if she comes, if you come backstage, it's going to just take me a minute because I'm finally opening the video we're going to be looking at of the security camera footage. Thank you, everyone, for staying with us. I hope you're having fun in chat. <laughs> it's planning on getting to this point a little sooner, but you know how things go. It's all good. All right. <clears throat> come on, computer. Did I mention I need a new computer? I really need a freaking new computer. Jeez. This is insane. <clears throat> Why so slow? And then I got a Mac book and I didn't like that because I like doing, you know, video, creating videos and the screen's so freaking small. I didn't, you know, that's like, just doesn't work. All right. She's back. She's back. There she is. Is that her? No, who is that? Cur oh, there's a curious rose. Okay. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> You're so funny. I You're like, Joan, you, you come and go so quick. You're back. I'm back. 
<laughs> are we are am I echo am I echoing? Like yes. Feedback. Are we are am I echo am I echoing? Yes. Feedback. I don't know. I wonder why I'm only hang on. Okay. I don't know. I wonder why I'm only hang on. Okay. Yikes! That was like a that was like a scary doll or something. We kept saying the same thing. Keep playing the string. We keep saying the same thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. Thank God. Phew. Good Lord. Okay, Sorry, I think we're good. Okay, okay, just one sec. I gotta exit out of here and then okay, back to you. All right, okay. I'm sorry, so, everyone. I'm sorry for holding everyone up. I really am. I, 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 I usually never would do something like this. I woke up. I'm like, I felt like you know, I missed a call exam. I'm like, oh my god, where am I? How old am oh, I? Oh, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst feeling too. I'm sorry. No, just relax. Definitely yeah. don't feel that way. You're all, you're all good. So, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy to be Poor here. Thing. Yeah, I'm happy you're here. Oh, wait, hold on. I just gotta see this close this and then we're good so okay so this is what i did guys so like i said what we're going to be doing i feel like it's so built up now i always worry when that happens but we're going to be looking at that security camera footage from nate's that we've been looking at like you know forever right hold it i got to type this in on that multitask error chris was reaching and we're going to be looking at that part when um the person initially walks out we're going to be, you know, watching it through. And then there's another part towards the end um, that I had never noticed. Rose had never noticed. And I personally had never, I've watched a lot of shit about the Watts case, okay? I've never seen it covered before. That's not to say it's possible. It, it may have been like covered somewhere. I don't know. So I just always put that out there because I am not going to ever tell anyone that like I created, um, freaking, I don't know, um, uh, popsicles because I didn't. It's the only thing that came to mind because I'm hot and I'd like one right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and Hey, listen, Stacia, I got your picture and that's an awesome picture. I emailed it to myself so I can show it. I think I have something a little bit similar in what we're about to see. I did the sharpening. So you let me know. I can always show that and I really appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to share this now. Okay. So yeah, so that's what we're doing anyway. Okay. I'm going to have to run and get a drink though. Cause, um, I need one. <laughs> oh, I a drink of to... like water. <laughs> yeah, I had, I know I had to get a drink too. Hi, John Mc, McSmith. I'm mm -hmm. sorry last night you left early. We missed you. Oh, yeah. I heard you were there, John. They did yeah. miss you. That was true. That's a true story. <laughs> true story. <laughs> Let me see here. Hold on. Get back over. Oh, good. It's showing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, so guys, so in the very beginning of this, you know, I like to, I always do, I don't know, I like to incorporate a message generally with my videos. And so, you know, you've probably, if you've seen these kind of videos that I do, you may or may not get the point. I don't know how well I do it, but I just like interweave images of the victims with all of this other stuff that we look at in the case, because to me, it's, it's very powerful. Um, I've gotten feedback from others that it just kind of woke something up for them. So in the beginning where there's these pictures of um, Shanann and the girls, the theme is, well, Chris Watts apparently suff they were suffocated with their own blankets, right? So what just you'll see. So anyway, let's just take a look at this. So this is initially going to be the person walking out of the garage. Got that curious, Rose? This is mind boggling when you <laughs> when we discussed it. I couldn't believe you saw well, I'm not going to say anything. It's just crazy. Yeah, we want to see if you guys see it too. Yeah. But it's not it till is. towards the end. So don't right. be on alert the whole time. Yeah, here we <clears> go. <throat> Do you hear the audio, the music? Um, 
I, I don't hear music right now, but um, no. You see the video though, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. I, the music's not important. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoops. Is the video there? Wait. No. It just yeah. was. But hold, it... Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. okay. Hold it. Okay. Let me pause. I'm sharing it a different way because um, hold it. we'll get back to it here. It's going to work. Damn it. Okay. Let me try again. <laughs> and it will work. I just. Uh huh, like this. There. No music? No. Okay. Oops. Dramatic effect music. This is just the person walking out, obviously. <laughs> Oh, yeah, respectfully, Muffy. Yeah, we've seen this like a gazillion times now. I didn't say that I, you know, like yeah. we've definitely seen this a gazillion times. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all so sick of that damn truck. I know. I mean, <laughs> it's totally fine. It's whatever you guys want to do. Like, I wasn't planning on talking so much before we got to this point, but yeah. You know. Okay, so we're not looking for anything just yet. See, I feel like things about, I hate building things up. Like I like to live by the motto under promise and over, um, and overproduce or overperform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're not looking for anything just yet. I'm just, this is just the video. Some people like to watch this and look at it. And again, I wasn't planning on being on for this long, but this is what it is right now. Cause then if I fast forward, some people are going to want to go back. So, you know, right. <laughs> Hi, David. How are you, sweetheart? Nice to see you. So, um, so many things to say. So, Muffy Dragon Slayer, I think NK definitely did cut a deal. And uh, another video I, we did recently, we've been deep diving into NK. You know, there is a document um, on which the FBI records her information that is a document that is not used um, to record the information for anyone else in the entire 1960 pages of discovery. So when I researched that specific form number, <laughs> so this is like really looking at details, um, 
that form is generally used for confidential information that's held confidentially. Now, obviously, this was not, um, or I'm sorry, like classified. This was not classified. Um, but um, on this same document that was only used to record her information from her, I, maybe initial inter interview, I think, I can't remember. Um, it does, have you guys seen this in capital letters, say protected identity on it, which mm. I, had, I hadn't seen before. Maybe mm. you guys have. But, you know, putting all of those things together for me, maybe it's because I was the one actually spending the time researching it. I don't know if I presented it as well as I wanted to. That really sealed, sealed the deal for me that there was definitely a deal and she's definitely protected. Correct. Had you seen that? Um, yes. Yeah. So you'd seen yeah. That before? Okay. Yeah. Everything seems so long ago, but because yeah. we've been dealing with this for years, but yes. Yeah, I know. I yeah. don't recall ever seeing that before. It all comes back when you talk yeah. about it then, mm -hmm. yeah. Most things do, but that one, I was like, we did, just, did, yeah. <laughs> so there's the backup. So a couple things are going to be important to look at as we're going through this. Let me turn down the music. And, you know, it's specifically, guys, and again, this is nothing that we haven't already looked at, but I think that just bear with me for now, you know, looking at things like, you know, when we know it's Chris Watts, his height, what's he wearing? How is he wearing his clothes? Where does, you know, the cut on his shirt go to? Because when you start to take all of these things into account, not in regards to what we're going to be looking at in a little bit that Curious Rose and I both thought was like, oh, wow. <laughs> um, but just that beginning footage that we've looked at 70,000 times, I mean... I don't know. Sometimes I don't know why we're trying to convince ourselves of something that's obvious. Uh, yes, I agree. And I, we were so focused on just what, what, looking for shadows, looking to see is he picking or kids running towards him that we can we can see their shadows under the car that we're we're missing things that possibly were actually happening around. Other than that. That's right. And you know what? Now that you're here, I actually don't want that music. So I'm just popping my um, Bluetooth back on and then I'm okay. going to start it again in like 30 seconds. Okay. It's just, I don't want, I felt like it was like you were competing with the music, which was. Just I was competing. It's, she's, it's a, it was a little like Yoko Ono-esque. <laughs> it was like, I know, like you want to start going, ah, ah, I know. It's crazy. Yeah. It is very Yoko Ono. So, um, yeah. People get bored if there's nothing to listen to on videos, you know. You know. <laughs> I know. I know. Luckily, though, this is such a great group. They never get bored. There's always some chat entertaining. That's so true. Good point. <laughs> All right. I got to get back. Why do I do this stuff to myself? Here he is. Blue to setting things. Just turn that bad boy on, Cal. There we go. Bad boy, turn on. Okay. All right. No, on. No, 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 Bluetooth. Come to, come to mama. Come to mama sound. Come to mama. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Why is the music? Do you hear the music, bro? No. You no. do? No, I no, I don't hear the music. Mm -mm. Okay, it's just it's just I do. Okay, okay. It's just in your head. You really don't hear it. You think no, you're it's, it. Don't say things <laughs> like that. I'm on the. It's verge. gonna haunt you. That that. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my lord. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Can I ask a stupid question? Because I kind of there forget. There are no stupid questions. I, I know. Do, does anybody remember, like, at, at what time did, like, Nate's, um, like, CCT, what time did it start, like, his re vid recorder start picking up? Like, when did it start recording? Do 10, we like 48, or you mean in the morning? Yeah, I, in the morning. Like, do we have a night? Like, do, does anybody remember? Five, 17. So it wasn't any earlier. It was just as soon as Chris came out and started to do his thing, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. I just And then remember. even when you do look at um, the, um, um, like, when you look at, sorry, I'm hearing the music and trying to talk. This is really screwed oh. up. So okay. it's okay. Here, let me do one ear. Back. Okay. So even when you, oh wait, I can't walk away from my computer. I'm gonna get I'll be right back, and then I'll finish okay. the talk. Okay. Let me read the chat. Oh, is that your? Is that what you listen to for Christmas music, Mark? Yoko Ono style music. It sounds it's lovely. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. Did you find your wife yet? Since they, what your cards read? Your did you find a, a woman yet? Let us know. We need. We're all dying to know. Where's Utter and Joan and everybody? And I, how, like that was just so such fun last night. The shoe was spot on. I was so excited for you guys. And Molson, did you? I hope you bought some scratch off tickets. And if you won, I'm getting. Don't forget, I'm getting a portion of it. Yeah, Mrs. Molson probably won. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. All right. Oh. <clears throat> All right. So hold it here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to move forward in this video a little bit. Okay. All right. So. Now, all right, there's sweetie. Okay, so, all right. So we need to see the two times he walks into the garage. Okay, so I just don't know if I hit it or not. We're somewhere around here. I think we got it. So we're watching Chris Watts walk into the garage. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to watch it again and again and again. Here he comes. Hmm. So that was it, Rose. <laughs> I mean, just in the, the, the not slowed down version. No. Oh, yeah. We need it. Um, oh, I slowed it down like a million times. Yes. Okay. So. Well, okay. Don't say anything though. And let's, <laughs> play, let's play it a few times, right? And what do you guys see there when Watts walks into the garage? Okay, so there he goes. Can you watch chat or no? Because I'm doing the yeah. video. Are you okay? Yeah. Could, yeah. Let me know what people are saying. Mm -hmm. There's a gas can. Uh, Muffy says, um, <clears throat> CW does not have an in him to murder anybody. I think when he was interviewed, he didn't know what to do and he just agreed with everything they said. I like, I think that sometimes I don't, that's not my going dominating like thought or theory, but I, I, I see where you get that from. Like he's so chameleon like and so without personality of his own, I could see that happening. Yeah, I agree. And he had such like a mm -hmm. flat effect. Like he was just, it was like the lights are on, but nobody's home. Like he was right. just so, it was just all so bizarre. Yeah. So Wendy says someone handed him the gas can. Question? Oh. Somebody mm. handed him the gas can? Mm -hmm. And Shannon says, and welcome Shannon. Shannon, Shannon Curley. I know someone named Shannon Curley too. This is really crazy. Walking around someone. 
Yeah. So, she, so you see walking Street. around someone. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, um, and HCN says, uh, looks like he went in and came back out with a gas can. Now that that's, that's fact. That's true yeah. for sure. That, so if we can get beyond the gas can part of it, uh huh. And, and, but I think the gas can is important though. It is. Oh, it's, yeah. it's important. Yeah. Like, but we've yeah. all, we've all seen uh -huh. that. Like we, we mm -hmm. know that part. So it's, so try to then focus after that part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like his extremities. Just I know Muffy. I want someone to break this case wide open too, in the worst way. Oh, Sorry. God, Sorry, no. <laughs> that would be so great. Oh my God. And then Shannon's got, oh, it's, yeah, again, Shannon says, looks like he's walking around someone. And so she says, yeah, I, yeah. Um, um, Lobo, why are they ours so combative and defensive? Who's that? Who are you talking about? Tell me who who's, you're talking about. I'm on, who's, who's, who Lobo, talking about. who's Lobo? Uh, Lobo, Lobo Medina subscriber here he he goes to like armchairs channel oh, okay um, so she's asking lobo, awesome oh love i get lobo. it so she's uh -huh. asking lobo why are the mm -hmm. sex so combative and defensive yeah mm -hmm. i'm trying to follow their conversation because i like i do I like yeah them, and it's hard with, <laughs> i hate the stream yard chat's horrible it's so mm -hmm. it, it, you know it's so slow oh it so is yeah you're right yeah um a face in the crowd says doctor photos what do you not not on my channel mm -mm. but i'm not sure what um this, what a face in the crowd is talking about oh let's see there's a whole conversation going on that i'm not following i think so um, yeah i'm i'm, I'm trying i'm reading it now but i'm just trying to see if anybody is that's the best i ever saw yes i worked really hard to get his face relatively yeah. clear here and other things but Okay, let's go back, I guess, to, uh, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hi, Aura, I didn't see you were here. Hi, Annie. <clears throat> so now we will be slowing this down and whatnot because, and um, yeah. Curious Rose, I did, you know, go through some of, some still pictures and some body cam footage of um, the garage, just okay. for context. Right, and right. really, if someone were walking from the driveway and going into the garage, if you were like trying to like grab something that was there, it's mm -hmm. not like there was any shelves or anything that gave any height or levels to what you'd be picking up. There were some, it almost looked like pieces of siding or piping or something mm -hmm. like these long objects that were like four or five feet, you know, in length. Yeah. And that's yeah. about all that would be accessible to grab from right at that area. Okay. Correct. Okay. Oh, don't worry, Joan. We're going to play it again. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. Wait. Lobo, I didn't mean to imply that you're always on board with um t with AD. I was just trying to contextualize like where oh Lobo, yeah like where she might yeah. I was just I'm, thinking out loud. I know you're your own Lobo. It's cool, man. Lobo. I'm sorry, Lobo. I just I I, I don't think I, <laughs> we've met before. I just didn't know who I that's I just said who's Lobo. I, I didn't <laughs> no no offense at all. Absolutely not. If it's a cool name actually. <laughs> it is. See, yeah, I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. Uh, mm. Yeah, no, I'm trying to do that too. No, MK I, was totally in control of him, Bebop, and welcome to the channel. Oh God, yeah. Who asked? Gina asked if Nate had cameras at the back of his property. He, I, and Ara answered, "No cameras." I didn't. Back. I was gonna say I didn't think so. <laughs> that could have that that could have answered a lot of questions, you know. As far as if anybody was taken out the back, like a lot of theories think. Jesus but. Christ, good Lord. Just to confuse all of us even more, Joan says, Kelly, it looks like a woman's body with Chris Watts' face. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. No. I love you, Joan. 
<laughs> I can't even go there. I, I can't either. <laughs> Lobo said I'm triggered. <laughs> Welcome, turquoise. Oh, oh hi, God. turquoise. Ah, so Muffy says, I respectfully um, disagree, Bebop, about NK being in control. I think she just wanted to be with him. Hmm. I, I don't know. She definitely, she definitely wanted to be with him, but I just think because he was not, he was still with his wife, she, she was trying to have some control. Yeah, yeah. Sex, sex control, mind control, whatever the hell you want to call it. He was not yeah. normal. He was like a man in a trance. He was. Mm. Hmm. Um, Dr. Oh, Dr. Seal, whack, yeah, the pathologist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. So, wait, let me see where we are with this here. And Oops, let me get this off. So, I'm just going to get to uh, the slow, I'm going to get to the, the part where we slow down and whatnot and the comparison. So, okay. Guys, got to tell us what you think. All right. That music's telling me. So next time, <laughs> omit the music. I'll the, pick the music next time. No. I, I like kid. the music. I really. like music. I'll I just, do like the music, though, if you're like, like a little blasting in my that. ear when we're trying to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if, you're, if you're them there on panel alone, really? kind of like I like some kind of background noise but totally it's hard. maybe there could have been a better choice that's good that's that's fine. i don't i don't always pick them i i man okay. like I pick men like forget about it i don't always make good choices it's okay <laughs> my son told me that recently he's like mom you have a bad picker i'm like i know oh, did he really? <laughs> it's a bad picker i love that thank you, thank you. thanks honey. 13. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sorry, just trying to see where we're at. Cause That's fine. Weird. I'm reading chat anyway. I don't want to miss any, anything. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Don't pull away, Chris. Oh, wait. Maybe it is after this, actually. Hold it. Oh, God. Okay, here we, here we go. There we go. Okay. okay. Kelly, I'm not a mod, but can you make it? So you're getting the same. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh, I'm not yeah. a mod. Remind your I'm mod. I'm sorry. You're supposed to be a mod. I know, but me. Joan yeah. and I don't know how to handle this. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. This, I know. I hate Jesus that. This is almighty. It. This person, right. this robot troll, whoever. I know. Oh, God, the, I know. The, it's the, awful. The, the filth. I know. I, I mean, can you I put something in chat so I can make you a mod? I, um, can you just say something? or? Yes. Let me go right now and just see. I cannot believe it. That is unbelievable. It is crazy. It's freaking weird. Up. Oh, uh, no, I'm not a mod yet. Nope, you're not. But you just got to. There you go. Now I can get you. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. I thought I did. No, no. Really as soon as I sat, though, that my instinct was, oh, my God, we got to block that. And then I'm like, realize. Oh, I'm you know not. what? I mistake sometimes mods and members. I just mistake oh, okay. the way that they're okay. noted. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Utter. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Cutter was on it. Where'd you go? So fast last night too. Dude. Oh, I think oh. I just. Oh, you were just blocked for five minutes. Shit, I did the wrong thing. That's Shoot okay. me, I did the wrong That's thing. Okay. Darn it! How do I unblock you? How do I unblock you? Can I do uh that? Yeah, oh, you now you're blocked. She's all. It's only five minutes. Wow, <laughs> that's weird. Only five minutes. Normally, it's longer. Yeah, I'm well, you can change the settings, but hold it. I've got to go in through YouTube. It's just don't you. Don't, that's all right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. It's gonna take yeah. me too long. I'm sorry. Okay. I've, yeah, sorry guys. Sorry. Utter okay. block. Uh, some they, they somebody deleted it, and I'm gonna report them. Everybody just keep reporting it if it shows up. I, I was reporting it as sexually explicit material and harassment or bullying. I cannot believe it though that they're back. And some one of my other mob uh, mem subs was in the chat, and, and they said, "Oh my God, I just left a chat that same, whatever Hi. it is, was in that." It's and they said, and they've been in a couple. It's been in a, a bunch of chats all week. It's, 
busy little perverted troll. I know. I was trying to. Why can't I mod people? For, I don't know. I was trying to make Mark a moderator, but I just can't. I'm, I just can't do anything from here. So, um, Joan or Utter Nutter, I'm going to make one of you guys, like, so you can make people moderators and stuff. But we'll talk about that. So, okay, back to the video. All right, everybody. Ten, Joan. Okay. Regina asked, did Nate say that Shanann had low blood sugar? Uh, no. Did, oh, they, they were talking about it on the porch. Did he right. say it? Was he asking Nicole Atkinson and her son? I can't remember he, that. He got it. He got it from the cop who said to the Nate, I, I've explained this so many times. That's why I just sighed. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when they were on the porch, they were on the back porch, and mm -hmm. the Watts porch was wicked close to um, Nate's porch. So right. Nate's like, what's going on, man? I'm nosy Nate. And mm -hmm. the cop's like, oh, you know, they're just worried about their friend. She's got like low blood sugar or just want to make sure she's okay like not pissed that's, out that's he right talks, <laughs> yeah. yeah and um and just like that too and so that that's where he picks it up from now i believe that the reason nicole atkinson did say that she had diabetes when asked that's a common thing that people will say to law enforcement to light a fire under their ass because they know yeah. that that's a medical you know sure make, there's a pregnant, that's a woman, medical yeah, condition. pregnant yeah. woman could possibly be you know hypoglycemic and yeah exactly. yeah that's all that was i yeah. got it's not the same thing I mean, anaphylaxis, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're law enforcement and, you know, there's a condition where a person has a higher likelihood of, you know, ending up unconscious, it's going to elevate, you know, the urgency because, you 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 know, there's a higher probability they might be unconscious and in distress and you've got to get to them, you know, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. So watch this, guys. Here we go. So, all right. Here we go. Now we're at the annotated section. <laughs> <laughs> in, in a moment, the annotated section. I can't ever get away from research. Watts walks into the garage in a continuous forward movement with no exceptional or extraneous movements in this example right here. Okay. <laughs> no! I'm still hearing that. <laughs> Loud. See? So we all see that. Yep. And again, again, so he walks into the garage with no movements that are out of the ordinary from a forward moving stride. Watch Chris watch reach just before he steps into the garage as though he's reaching for an object someone is handing him. Yep. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. You, you, have, a, you have a lovely voice. Okay, All right. Yes, so, yes. Okay. So there he goes. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Move the comment. Duh. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So now he comes out with a gas can. Don't worry. We'll see it again, though. But let's go back. So. Have you guys noticed this before, seen this before? He's clearly reaching his arm out. And we looked at the footage of the garage. Well, let me pause and we'll go back to that. But there's nothing that he would be reaching for, particularly when what very quickly ends up in his hand is a freaking gas can, which obviously would have to be on the ground or very low to the ground because we can clearly see what's on that wall in the garage and right. there's no shelvings or, or hooks or anything that's no. going to bring something up closer to him where he wouldn't have to bend down in a highly exaggerated movement. Right. It was like some right there here, somebody standing literally right behind where we can't see and just handed him that it's it's Look, it's it's just it's, so it's to me you know it's clear as day once i saw i was like well how did we miss this all these years and uh, i showed it to my son i showed it to my dad and my stepmom they're all like uh, he's obviously like you know they saw he they're like he so, what's that person handing him i was yep, like yes. yep <laughs> yeah it's, yeah yep all right that's good to know see yeah it's mm. So that person is handing him a gas can. So what is said between he and that person that 
indicates that that person should know to hand him a gas can? Was it our, it was already planned all out. Like, this is what we're going to do right now. You're, we're going to walk out never, there. Oh, I'm sorry. The no, I just, I've never it, thought that before, but. I didn't either. Also, the chit, the kids supposedly like. What did he say? They were like running around the house all over the place. Was that person also standing there so that the the kids would not run out of the garage? Right, right. Yes, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something else I caught too, but I didn't want to go over all of this in one video because yeah, okay. Because it ends up being more than I can cover. Right, it's an we're you so know like, watching. See, watch. There we go. Totally reaches. It's not bending down at all. It's literally, he's standing upright. Remember, whatever. this is slow motion, and he turns oh, right around with that gas can. Arm. Oh, God, that is so. It creeps me out. Look. There we go. Know. And then, like, you could see it starts to extend his right hand. Yeah, clearly. I mean, <laughs> Clearly, clearly. I know. And yeah, yeah, because we, you, you know, you, you you totally debunked it by going, like, looking in the garage right at that area just to get a exactly. space. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that's. We'll go back to that, too. We'll go back yeah. to that, too. So I don't know if you guys were all here for that. I don't know if, you know, you, you were really, like, looking there. But I'm telling you guys, there is nothing that he could possibly be grasping other than those really long objects and yeah. definitely nothing where a gas can would be saying there is somebody there handing him the gas can there is there is that there is a there is part of this video where there is almost they show like a shadow of it like someone like like right behind like where that wall area is right there so yeah I, I, that's what i found too that's what i also okay. saw today so there, you I, know, think, I felt like i had seen that before but i didn't yeah. really pay much attention it wasn't like in my top one me but either wait. but it it's i i see it i do see it all it. makes and i started no, making it all video. makes sense doesn't it kelly it doesn't when you think sense. of that now it really it all goes hand in hand it does i just i guys i've never seen this before like have you guys seen this i've never seen i mean just put it out there if you've seen it before like just you can tell us it's okay i'm not gonna be hurt or anything but i mean i think when you put all the things together it's it's me it's convincing me of certain possibilities that i have always just excluded because i try to stay you know i try to not stray too far but um terry and welcome terry by the way says wow first time i saw that as well and shanann had an suv type vehicle so it wasn't sitting on the trunk of her car right no, and right. you know the question also was raised um you know when we were looking earlier at the garage footage was shanann's car even in the garage because was the question was, was there room for both of them? Now, I do remember at some point, I mean, I know the reason Chris Watts did not park in the garage when he had to go to work in the morning when the girls were still sleeping is so they could stay in their um, echo chamber of silence mm -hmm. but, and not be woken. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I do remember them also talking about a, 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 an issue of space, and I don't remember the details. If anybody knows better than me, please pipe up or we'll research it. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, so I'm going to keep playing that then. Oh, wait. Let me get rid of the comment. No, sorry. To, th thanks for the comment or the questioner comment, um, Terry. But here, hold that. I'm trying to. There we go. <laughs> Too much multitasking. <laughs> So Kat S says, look at the face on the reflection at the back of the truck that moves. So um, is what you're referring to, I have a hard time with this one. I'd love to find it on my own video too. But um, do you mean when um, Watts or whoever starts to pull out of the driveway at the very end here, um, Kat, yeah. is that what you mean? 
and we see that reflection is, I, is yeah. that is that yeah i that's 100 percent. okay what do we oh we got the arrow just pointing okay yeah cat i know what you're exactly what you're talking about with that Yeah, where John says, where does NK claim to be at 5 a.m.? Did the cops check her alibi? Good luck with that one. I mean, we don't know. Did they check their alibi? As far as we know, no. If they did, they certainly didn't include it in Discovery because they was protecting their girl. She was a protected identity. Uh, so yeah. I, the letters yeah. yeah. I think the they did check her form. alibi, and I think that's why her information is out of Discovery. Because yeah. whatever or wherever she was at 6, 5, 6 a.m. could possibly be not good for her. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's the right. way. I, I, otherwise, it would be in discovery. Yeah. This That's is, right. you know, it's gotten so out of control. That oh, would be. I see Edward says her hands. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, Kitty Witty, you make a really good point. So, um, well, his sleeves are up here and on the supposed nk they're down so let's take a look at that oh yeah that's a good thing to look at i never yeah. really noticed that's a that's a mm -hmm. good point i don't know oh i know why i ended the video here because i was having a shit of a time uploading this in like in a timely manner oh, so I, okay. okay but oh wait i think the end of it might be back here i don't know i just slept this together today guys sorry about that because we just so yeah so are, have you did you have you guys seen this reaching are you like oh yeah i knew all along he was reaching for something and you know like what's what is, what's being said in chat bro? because i don't i i don't think a, I, I just heard i just saw it when i and i i can't think i can't remember if it was um psych word or word case studies okay. that showed it that we we showed it we saw it and i was we were all like just in in awe that no one had oh. seen it prior and that was I'm, I'm talking only about maybe a few weeks ago um i this? really i don't think people have really talked like about this, that. what we're talking about right now We're correct yeah oh just, just yeah, like you no. said like how did we miss now it i'm gonna get accused think, of being copier <laughs> i don't think no like i don't right. think anybody has talked about it just because you we were saying how did we miss it i don't i think right. everybody missed it that was my perception. I but then again, you know, I you know, I don't know. Yeah. And they're yeah. all, they only said he looks like he's extending his arm out. Like they didn't get real technical into it. I was the one that then had to go and look at it a million times and I'm like, there's somebody there. Oh like, yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's actually go back and look at the um let's look at we'll go back to this, but let's look well, you know, we can stay here, but then let's look at let's pull in the um Let's let's contextualize is what I'm saying. There okay. we go. All right. My big words. Okay, so here. Oh, get your head out of the way, dude. This guy's head keeps being in the way. It's making me angry. Oh, there's Nate. Hey Nate, you're our buddy. Okay. So let's trade this in. I don't know. My mind was like blown. I don't know. Does anyone else like feel like, oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy? Are we doing once, Rose? No, I. It is. Rose, well, no. do we need more sleep? Are we sleep deprived, Kelly? We might be. I. We, no, I Kelly, because I was. <laughs> I was to sleep deprived two weeks ago when I saw this. I was mesmerized. I really was. Okay. I was. Okay. I was. I was. I was. I don't know why it slipped my mind that to even mention it, but I, I was just like, I, I. I had to watch it a couple times, and then I'm like, I am not going down another rabbit hole with this. But and then when you and I oh, talked I today, like, oh, it was, you said it. I was like, oh my god, nope, it's there, it's real. Like now we got to talk about it. It's not shoved up her butt. What's not shoved up her butt? Oh, why, 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 but why go by anyone's cell phone activity? Well, you know, that is, I think maybe the point you're making, that is to assume that, that someone would constantly have that phone in their, you know, on their body, in their close proximity possession at like all times, which you can't assume, right? You can assume. And so at, at six o'clock, so the phone pings from somewhere nearby, whether or not it just, you know, happened to ping off of that tower near his home who knows but the her you know her her gps her vehicle gps that information was redacted mm -hmm. that that information is very telling okay? yeah that's, that's right that that is very telling and that's gone 
Brian, Brian, <clears throat> Brian Phelps, welcome. So glad you're here. Welcome to the channel. And he hooked us off. Thank you, my friend. He says, I've never watched it like this before. Oh, well, that's awesome. Come on, give me thank feedback. You. I know. Thank you, Brian. We, thank don't, you. we don't feel so crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're just like, we're on fire. Yeah. Oh, no, I know. Stacia says, yes, it would. I'm not sure you're talking about, but this caught my attention. Her cell phone call detail records are in the discovery with the district attorney that's right under the loving care of the weld county district attorney's office that would clear her gps location that's uh i guess that's only a but it's only a phone mm -hmm. it's not that's her right. car gps right. like it, sure, it's not embedded in her brain there's, there's nothing it's, it's nothing but a phone ping that's all it is okay. I, I know the kids had nothing to do. There's John from FBI Cleared <laughs> NK. I love John. Oh, John, you're John the best. NK. He just loves that. He, he can't get over that. He can't get past that brown bikini. <laughs> John McSmith, she was with Jim. Leave Jim alone. Oh, Lord. Let's see. Um, the current. Wait. What? What? The current. What? Hold it. I got to go back up and chat a little bit. Um, it doesn't look like he's reaching. He's just so Muffy Dragon Slayer says it doesn't look like he's reaching. He's just walking. Really? I don't. Yeah, I definitely see. Re I definitely see reaching. Um, I, I, I really wish I could think of who's, who I saw, who was showed it because it seemed like they had they had cleaned it up a little bit. It was a little bit clearer. Oh God, if I could think of it, I'll try to get in touch with the creator. It'll, it'll awesome, drive me yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. I can't. Maybe Molson will remember. I don't know if Molson will remember. If he, if, I'll try to remember. So Muffy, Muffy Dragon Slayer. So let me just ask you. So um, you seem to be a little skeptical about all of this stuff. So what do you, you, and you said that you, I believe you said, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, that, um, well, you said that Chris Watts didn't kill anybody. So what do you believe is the most compelling evidence that um, supports that position? And I mean, I, I think that's certainly a possibility. I'm not trying to be snide or anything. I'm just, um, you, I'm truly curious. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. if you don't the, mind, and if you do I, mind, that's okay. I understand. I mean, to put you on the spot, right? But I agree, Muffy. At this point, no, maybe no one was dead yet. I really, I who we don't know, but I, you know, it, he was he clearly was very busy in that garage getting things uh, in and out. So whether or not it looks like he's grabbing for something or not, I mean, he was putting items in and out of in and out of his truck from one side to the other. And I, I am telling you, from the video that I, I originally saw it on, it's a little bit clearer, and his his arm extends, to, and then some, someone something is given to him. That's all I. Yeah. That's, that's all and I can I, say. I will definitely. I will be able to um, get this video clear. I'm going to just need overnight. I'll be able to put it into HD. I was having so much trouble getting mm. it into uploadable form so we could actually watch it without slowing down um like buffering yeah so that you know so so we'll get it to like be more clear and you know if yeah. you see it you see it you don't you don't but wait hold on. i want to read this comment here um satia says uh her call detail records obtained by law enforcement via warrant submitted to 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 her by verizon show her call detail records including her GPS GPS location history. Yes, that was obtained through the warrants on Verizon. Through her phone, not her automobile. Right. Through her phone, correct. They took yeah. the auto, her GPS from her automobile was redacted. So they, you know, yes, they have a they have some they have a phone, okay, and a ping. That's great, but other no, things. but but Stacia's saying that her GPS and yes, it is on her phone. Yeah, but still, the GPS. <laughs> a few videos about it. The GPS location on her phone, in conjunction with this other information, would create a much clearer picture and tighter time for, timeline for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but still, you're right. It, it is her phone, so. Um, 
Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be putting up the, con the contextual. Right. I'm sorry. I just got like lost in outer space there. Sorry, guys. Okay. Lost in yes, outer space. Yes, that's correct. Where I like to be. Spaces. That's correct. The GPS location. Yes, it, it does give a little bit more detail than just a ping. I, I agree. Yeah. I, but what we're just trying to say is her automobile automobile gps all that information was taken out for a reason correct yeah it's like you know pride or honesty so always makes the point so eloquently and like yes. poignantly that you know it's so important to look at what is also not included in the discovery like right. the 100 no trace of the 111 minute phone call exists in discovery yet that the empanada sorry not empanada with a tilde but empanada empanada is in that discovery all over the place until the day before the yeah. murders that's crazy that is critical right there yeah. i don't I don't know. I think I don't know, Steve. Steve I, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Your phone has a GPS, yes, that has an accurate location, you know, can, mm -hmm. but so does your car, is what we're trying to say. We don't have the records from her actual car mm -hmm. GPS location. We only right. have the phone. We only have the phone info. So those are two entirely different reports but they are but you know i mean really the only the, the in my opinion um rose and, Cisa and they took and everyone out. else the, the way they, the, go ahead no go ahead but why did they have you know it was originally in there and then it was immediately redacted from yeah, the i didn't know of it originally being in there i didn't even yeah. i never heard about her car just yet. yeah right. and i think it's unjustified that that we, I don't I don't know about that. I mean, fine. I want to know I'll ask unjustified if she Yeah, can. let's I've got I I need yeah, to I, I personally I just my to. stance for on the channel. I would have to verify that independently yeah, before I, I went with that. Statement. Unjustified, but don't quote me on that. It's been two years, you know. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't mean to be a jerk, but it's almost like it's like no matter who it was, I don't care who it was. Like everything's the way I like I, I feel like I need to be able to somehow you know um thank you, you know, verify everything because yeah. there's so yeah. much out there like or I'll, you right. know what i mean right so but the only guys the only way in my opinion the only way that the you know her truck or whatever gps um data would be more um uh, material or more more important or than yes. her phone data is if the phone data and the GPS data matched up, therefore strongly implying that she with her phone was in her vehicle and they were moving together. That would be a stronger implication that, you know, they weren't that's, um, that's, giving the phone, you know, you know, doing something yep. on per. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So thank you, Stacia. Those were like, you know, those are really good thoughts. Yeah. It's all good things to discuss. I mean, that discovery, it's two, almost 2000 pages, but we're missing so much important information. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jesus. So Donna, someone, we, always people talk about the car being sold straight away. So again, like that's something I've heard all along. I would love, and it, I, it very well may be true, but I'm wondering, like, does any, like, it's so, I feel like someone must have the bill of sale out there or something. I wonder, else. cause I never got, yeah, we, we both said that, like we never had a yeah. true confirmation on it. We've all right. heard that. Right. But. Oh, good night, Stacia. Good night. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. Oh, good, honey. It's good to see you. True Tam sent you over. That's oh, great. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Nice awesome. Oh, True Tam. I uh, emailed thanks. her. Thanks for being here, honey. That's awesome. Aww. Let's see. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's our contextual. Oh, my God. I'm really keep me on track, girl. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> So this is, uh, you know, a view. This is one view of the wall. We're looking oh, at the okay. wall right here. Okay. That would be the wall right next to Chris Watts as he's walking into the garage mm -hmm. and he's reaching out for something, in our opinion. You know, there's nothing to grab there except for those really long items. There's not like, there's nothing where, because we know he turns right around and he has a gas can in his hand. So he didn't go far. 
No. So there's nothing right there where he could, you know, without bending way over, just grab that gas can and turn around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Which to me eliminates the possibility if he's just walking normally because I don't know. I, um, I, all but eliminates. I really do agree with that. I just think, and I, and like you said, if we can look at that other part where you do see then like there's a shadow, there's like, you could see a shadow of a face, yeah. like a, like a yeah. head or something. I don't know what it is, but it's all, I don't know. To me, it just all made so much more sense when, when I did see the video. I got a little confused here. Was it this was after the part we watched, correct? Like when the truck's pulling out. This, what's this? What what was that, honey? The part you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because he, it's like he leaves, and but like. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's but he right. was still that, there, it's and here. Did, yeah. Did he not say that? His, the alarm said that his garage was open, but that he remembered closing it when he correct. left. Correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just got to wait for his ass to be gone. All right. His ass be gone. <laughs> so, yeah. So it is. It's right here. So um, or it's coming. Wait a little bit. Sorry. Look at nosy Nate, like as if he's like the groundskeeper that day. Oh God, know, he annoyed the hell out of me that day. I don't know why. I know. He's, the I know. he's the groundskeeper. So wait, is this the? Let's see. I think it was when. So I feel like this is a too high exposure, but I feel. Hmm. When I'm, I'm just watching right now because okay. I feel oh, okay okay I feel like yeah get... see the reason I was doing this um filter so to speak which wasn't a filter it was a bunch of changing things around was in order to Joan I really like that you could see the detail on Chris Watts clothing and on his face in order to oh am I sharing this I think I'm not even sharing I'm not sharing no. this with you guys holy shit no, we're still looking at <laughs> Nate in his orange hat. Yeah, let's get rid of Nate. Bye, Nate. Later. Okay. So this is what I'm looking at, guys. All right. Hold it. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't get enough rest. <laughs> Did you sleep at all? Did you get any rest? Um, very little. But yeah. I've, I've had a lot to do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So I was watching this and after, yeah, okay, you got it, you got it. So watching this again. So let me ask you guys, I just wanna, here we go, right here. Is, so do you guys see, oh wait, no, this is when he's reaching, I'm sorry. I was like, wait, that's not it. <laughs> so wait, here, look. This is when he's walking straight in and the reason, you know, the filters are for ver catching various details, but you can get the, you definitely get the sense. This is when he's walking straight into the garage without reaching for something, right? Yeah. Walks into the garage in a continuous forward movement with no exceptional or extraneous movements. So that's what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he kind of walks like an ape, like with his arm just kind of dangling down. Mm -hmm. And again, I like, I like your and again. He does walk like a knee. He does. He's like so a cave Now, man. this is Chris Watch reaching just before he steps into the garage as though he's reaching for an object someone is handle, handing him like a gas can. Yep. Oh, he's so reaching. What do you guys see? He re and then he return like he re he, he returns, returns to the frame with a gas. This is not. This is all. I didn't cut that. This is this is slow down and uncut. So he turns right around with a gas can. That's that's what so I mean. It's down to twenty percent. Okay, yeah. right, because it's like he, he whatever he gets yeah. handed, it's and he turns right around. Correct. Okay, I thought. All right. Okay.
Oh, good. Wendy said, no, I totally see it. Never saw this before, but saw it tonight. Yeah, I know, Thank Wendy. you for I'm the happy feedback, you said Wendy. That. Ugh, we're you starting to, to wonder watch. if we need to put ourselves in stray jackets. No. <laughs> you, I think you have to watch it a couple times. I, I had to. Yeah. Oh, no, this I is, do. And you know, this is hard season. to watch anyway. It it's is. so blurry it and weird. It's and not just, compelling. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, you said you didn't see it. You want to play it once more? Yeah. So here, so there's the arrow. Got a little oh, great with the arrow. Oh, good. Was Donna said, yeah. The arrow. Donna said the same thing. I, it's his, exactly. I, it's his right arm reaching out. Yeah. That's okay. Here we go. It's weird. Oh, and also with this, like, um, resolution and whatnot, too, mm -hmm. you get really good detail on his jeans, which I know are, like, a big uh, thing when comparing him to the person walking out of the garage initially. Yeah. Oh, sure. Here he comes again. Oh, look, it's a Chris Watts clone doppelganger. Also <laughs> reaching out. <laughs> Who is he reaching out to? That's the question. Reach. And he does a funny little kind of turn. I don't know. He's so awkward with his. He's so awkward. On a good day, he's just awkward. He's let so alone, awkward. let alone whatever was happening that morning. Right now, we'll <laughs> take a look at the shadow. This isn't the best resolution for it, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, here. Okay. Okay. All right. So he pulls out. We'll see how it goes. Pulls out. He walks back in and out. <clears throat> how long did it take in total? Was it like a half hour that he was doing stuff, getting in and out, putting in and out of his something truck? Something like, I, like Jeez, was it 27 almighty. minutes or something. I can't. Yeah, little... Does it take me that long to pack a car if I'm like going on a, a two week road I trip? Well, he had some. Mm. He had some interesting packages to pack. He had those. He had that thermal in his computer. It was very heavy. I know. A couple. A wrench. Stupid. He was um, gonna go moderate. <laughs> the wrench, <laughs> that's right. The, the wrenches. Oh my god. Oh lord. Okay. So. Yes, Mark. And NK did look up how much Amber Fry made. So I wasn't planning on um, looking at that shadow that you were speaking about. Rolling. You don't have. We don't have to do that tonight because maybe it's hard to. It is hard to I, to find. Like and like I said, the one I the whoever I watched on, like it was really clean. No, up. I don't think it's hard to find. It's just that I don't think that this particular res treatment of the video is the best one in order to see it because I already see where it is. Right. But it's not like to point it out to someone, but if it was in the right like treatment of the video, I think it's very easy to see, which is not doctoring the video. It's just no, not no, no, putting no. this much exposure on it. Right. Right. There we go. So he's pulling out fully now. And then right, the shaft is, you can see it there. I mean, I think it's right there. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's it. But you, so yeah. You, okay. You could see it. And then it. I fade okay. to black. Yeah. You can see it. Mm. Um, yeah. I cut the video too quick for that so he pulls out and if i didn't fade the video mm -hmm. it would the shadow would become even more prominent yeah Jeez. It's, it's it's a very telling video there's just so much yeah. to look at there is so much to look at every time you look at it like you could you could see think you're seeing something else like you really have to make sure you look into it and debunk every possibility that's right totally. yeah. Yeah. Oops. does anyone not uh, have anything to say in chat on this topic i love that you guys yeah. love chatting about whatever that's cool yeah no deb, deb, deb sykes said the same thing he did reach out with his right hand yeah he definitely did yeah so uh. so 
So the next thing will be to look at, um, to look at, <laughs> to not start to fade the video, to look at it in a, you know, without, with less exposure and less sharpness. And then to see, you you guys will clearly see after he, it's not just after he walks away, but after he fully pulls away, you see a shadow that elongates given the angle of the light, like in what would be, what would have been like his height when he was walking through that area, like the height of a person. Right. It's, it's very clear. It is. Yeah, it really is very clear. It's so crazy. It's crazy clear. So now here, oh shoot, we didn't look at, so he had, oh, you know, his oh. sleeves rolled up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I was, the, I was, that's, I was walking. You're right. You had the sleeves are rolled up. Here, let's look at what he looked like. Look at the, there, here he is. Whoops. Get back here, Chris. Come here, bitch. Mm -hmm. man. Look, zero personality, man. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, zero personality. That's a good way. That's why I called him bitch. <laughs> there we go. So, um, I'm getting all crazy. I normally don't swear on my channel. So, um, I was swearing a lot last night because that stupid um, troll kept coming through with oh, the know. filthy sayings. I mean, yeah, I was yeah. laughing at the, yeah, to laugh at, at one time. I get so stupid. Sure. So now guys, well, so here he is. So you see his, you see his sleeves are rolled up. They're always rolled up. I was also looking and I just couldn't put everything in the video for today, guys. Cause I was just working on this this afternoon. I put a chiller stuff to do, but even if I didn't, it would have been a lot. When you see video of Chris wearing a long sleeve shirt, he always has his sleeves partially rolled up or almost always does. Mm -hmm. um, so you see that, you know, you see like the blackness of the shirt, not that he couldn't have changed. You kind of see, obviously, and I know these are things people looked at before probably 7,000 times. I know, but we're looking at it now. Yeah. You see where his shirt falls like on his jeans. And you also just see his relative posture. So, okay. So I've been teaching yoga for a very long time, a huge part of teaching yoga because I do a kind of yoga in emotional and physical therapy. So we're look, let's talk about the physical therapy. You look at the spine as being the center structure and what the spine tells you, you can learn a lot about what's going on in the rest of the body. So either people have, some of you might know this, an accentuated like lower back curve. Think of the girl sticking her booty out and that's called mm -hmm. like a lordotic curve. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry, that's, uh, I might get these confused. I'm just, so that's called something. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but in that, or you might have an accentuated thoracic curve, which is like kind of the hunchback rounded through your upper back curve, or you could have both. Um, lordosis and kyphosis, they're called. Right. So, so we see here that mm -hmm. he has both that rounded upper back this mm -hmm. is more important in my opinion than the gate because this is too short a clip for the, in my opinion, for a full gate analysis. So he has the kyphosis, that rounded upper back, but he also has a little bit of that lordosis or that squirrely weak lower back that's arching in the opposite direction. Yeah, he so, does have that lower arch. That's mm -hmm. weird that he has both. Yeah, yeah. And that's something men generally don't want right <laughs> so but you know a lot have but you know that means if if you have that it means you need to strengthen your core so do it through pilates it's the best way so now now we go to the figure that walking out mm -hmm. um so this okay. person from this perspective of and if i had time to i would have put together a whole little presentation of a um thoracic um uh kyphotic curve or a lower back lordotic curve right who has neither distinguishably i guess There's a range of treatments, all not doctoring, but just, you know, adjustments to light and what not, exposure, just because people see better in different ways. Right. <clears throat> Did he just walk out? Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, okay. She. That's I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, this one isn't Her. the best. Her. This one isn't the best. I just like that, like, artistically, I guess. 
this one I think is decent. Yeah. Hmm. This is also a good one to see the uh, shadows. So I don't know if you can see, but you know, the person does not have the rolled up sleeves. Not that that has to be the case, but definitely does not. And the person does not have the accentuated lordotic or kyphotic curve. No, but the person had a bit of a booty. Had what? Like a booty, more of a... That's hmm. what it looks like, yeah. That, yeah. It's hard to see what, 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 what footwear is on that person, isn't it? Is. it? And this whole thing is just evil. It's it's just evil. It is. You're right. It's just, it's evil. Mm. And again, I wasn't able to upload today in HD because of the length of time was taken. So right. Sorry, no, that this was just a quick put but, together, but yeah, it's great. But we'll, we'll, I'll put out a video with it in HD. So it's more yeah. clear. I think, I think that, um, treatment is kind of a good one for this and my, for my eyes. I agree. Yeah. There. You know what? I'm going to watch it on hold. I got to turn the volume down. I'm going to watch it on okay. my HD television okay. and see if it's better. Okay. I'll look at chat here just to make sure. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, red car, red car, neighbors, red car. Yeah. So B Bob said, yeah. So the, the chick, that's it's a chick's, it looks like a chick's body with white sneaks. And yeah. Or so white sneakers or socks, I socks see. And then what appears to be like a, a, a dude and his 30s with some kind of white sneaker on. I don't, I, I haven't paid enough attention to the, their footwear. I have to really right. look at that. No. Oh my God. It's so much. I'm sorry. It's so much better on my TV. I, that just came out of my mouth. I'm sorry to interrupt you. That, is it really? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I watch other people's material on my TV, but when it comes to my own, I'm like, Oh, just give it the cheap treatment. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll be watching everybody, and then I'll be watching my and my little dinky phone like a fool. I know. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's really good on. Um, oh yeah. I don't know, Mark. Mark said, "Did the D." Oh my gosh, it's awesome on the my television. Cool. Is it real? I'm, I'm yeah. Is it really? Mm hmm. Where's my TV remote? Hang on. I wonder if I could. I don't know if I put it on my phone and I'd it wouldn't. It wouldn't be the same. You'd lose it again. Um. Yeah. On my TV because now I'm now you have me now I'm intrigued by it. Oh yeah, like on an HD television, you will be able to see um that shadow after what pulls away super clearly. Oh my gosh, it is you you have to see it like this. It's like I can almost actually see the ponytail, which I can never see. I feel like I can, but maybe I'm just tired and crazy. No, no, you can because that is that was part of the video that I saw because I was in shock it's clear as day ponytail whose video who was the creator it's gonna make me lose my mind it, but huh? it, yes there is a no it, you can see it you can see it, the ponytail clear as day because that was on the video that i i can't remember what, what the channel that i saw like i said about two weeks armchair ago, detective no i don't i don't i don't no, oh, it wasn't him. Oh God! I'll have to, you know what? I'll look at my YouTube history and see if I can look yeah. back. Um, because I don't go on many channels, and I don't even know why I went on there. It was some with the title. I think it was a like that. It just intrigued me. I'm like, hmm, what's that about? And I was happy. I yeah. Went it was like, what is? What is this? What? what how did we not see this? Oh, um, someone just, I think, just said plunder. Plunder is pretty awesome in general. No, we don't watch Dave Bebo. I, yeah, I, well, I love plunder. I, I don't think it was plunder. Was it? J maybe it was Jamiva. I don't. I'm trying to. Oh, think. Jamiva, maybe. I, I yeah. haven't watched her in a while, but I think she's. I she's, she's good. And she made some videos. A lot of her videos. Maybe it was mm -hmm. her. I'll, I'll have to go back and look. 
Okay, I put down my oh yeah, I put down my TV. Wow. It's like what are you oh. wowing about, Lobo? What happened? I don't know. I just said wow, all caps. He's not an all caps kind of person. I just need to know what he's wowing about. Oh, maybe he's watching it on his TV. I I put it on my TV. It's yeah, like, it's oh, it's really world. it's insane on my TV. Hold yeah. on, I just want to get up because I want to turn the light off because like, you can see it better that way. I just want to. Good idea. I'm gonna do that too. It's like a whole other world. Oh, my knees, my knees. I'm 43 for sure. Oh God. I went running or not running, but I worked out. I went on my stairmaster yesterday and today for too long and my knees are pretty on it. Ow! I feel funny. Oh, look at them. Imagine that. There's a bunny. Wow. Look at the bunny bunnies. Come on. You're coming to school with me tomorrow, Bun Bun. It might have been Jamiba's channel. I, I, no, I don't, I don't watch Jamiba. I don't watch Red X. I don't watch any of those. I, I haven't watched anything by her in a while. I'll have to it, might have been I, I, it wasn't Plunder. I haven't watched Plunder in a while. A long time. Hunter doesn't do too much, like a long. And she doesn't do any lines or anything. Like she just puts her stuff out. It's good. Yeah. But I, I just have. I yeah. Watched her in a very long time. So I'm gonna go to the part now where yeah the person walks out. All that shows a little. Oh, Terry, Terry, you're making us not feel crazy. Terry said she's tripping out. She's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the club. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Oh my God! Watch when he's walking out. When he reaches yeah. on yeah. the television. Okay, here we are. Okay. You know, I wish everybody could put their TVs on right now. It's incredible how. We... Everybody, put your TV on. Wow. Hi, hey, Melody LeBlanc. How are you? Nice to see you. Um. Oh, and then I'm hearing that got the music. All my music. No, 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 I must stop with the music. Don't stop the music. Yeah, stop the music. All right. Oops. I gotta go back a little. Sorry, guys. I might. I'm like trying to compensate for the delay in my computer versus television. Okay. And then the music. <laughs> Ask if you saw the shadow from the car. Yeah, Kelly, SKD saw the shadow from the car to the garage. I'm not sure what that means on. What did Melanie I'm trying to see what Melanie said. Did you see the first person had boots, black ones, and Chris was wearing like sneakers? Yeah, there's a very clear difference, Melody. I always, that's such a distinct difference, right? My thought on that, and I could be wrong, because guess what? I wasn't there, but damn, I wish I was, so I could see them and also so I know. But um yes, Ash, he walks the same way. Like I always felt like someone changed their shoes into the boots because that's such a distinct difference. I I agree. Yeah, I think so too. I did. I yeah. agree on that part. Sorry, I walked over to my television. I'm still talking. I'm like, I have no sense of myself right now. Okay. <laughs> John said, "What about Aunt Casey in this video? Who knows who's in this video? But there is something." She's in the garage, John. There's don't you get it, John? There's an entity there, John. I don't know who it is. Someone handed him the gas can, John. Just kidding, John. I don't mean to be rude by saying it like that. Um, okay, wait. I want to see what Melody was saying. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm Melody Le LeBlanc. I'm glad you're here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Melanie, I agree with you with the shoe thing. He was like, oh. God, you're changing shoes. And oh, country, country, Mar Marge, Marge. That's gross about the cheese on the table, but I feel ya. Oh, that, that, oh, that, I can't watch that. It makes me, I told you how I feel about before Cece was like, just like, I know, you know, raised by wolves, you know. Oh, when Donna is making me feel better saying same age as me, I couldn't get up off my knees early. <laughs> yeah, I know. Damn, girl, what are we going to do about that? <laughs> That's cute. I feel, I feel creaky and cracky and I, I like exercise a lot and stuff too. well like moderately to stay in shape um so melody said 
I, I'm, if I'm talking over you, I'm sorry. It's because I no, have this freaking no, music no. in my ear. You're not. Go um, ahead. I have a picture of who I believe it's NK who first walked out, which I cleared it up pretty good Ooh. to her picture of the one in the interview room, the one where she returns the phone. Though comparing those two, one works. Those two pictures works pretty well. Is that the one you're talking about, Melody? Yeah, because she's standing. That's why I like that one. Yeah, and she's got the hair and the ponytail. Yes. Ew. Let me see. What did we miss? Yeah, kids were allergic. You're, you're right, though, Marge. Kids were allergic to everything but licking cheese off a dirty table. Oh, God. I know, I just read that too. Oh, God. Oh, Bebop's watching it on TV too. Oh, good. That's why people probably said, wow, it's like a whole other world when he's watching on TV. Well, you yeah. know, okay, contrary, um, Marge, Marge, I I don't know if I would have, I'm not going to pin the comment because, you know, I, I, like, I, I, I respect both of the families, you know what I mean? I don't know if I would have said it like that about the, the, the puppy analogy, but um, somebody, uh, Rose and I were talking about this earlier. Um, the family, I believe, this is, I believe that family was in a state of absolute crisis. And I certainly don't fault anyone or wouldn't want to make family or friends feel bad. They've had such a terrible loss. But I think for all of us, it's a good lesson to say if you see family or friends in that state of crisis, don't let them go home with their children far away from you. You yeah. know, or do, so get I don't know what the answer is, guys. I but yeah. I think it's just get involved. You're not get involved. You, you think like, right. oh, it's none That's of our right. business. No, it is your business. It's no your thing. family. It's your friend. Make get it involved. your business. Make it your business. It's the same way if somebody's depressed and you think, oh, I don't want to. I'm right. embarrassed. I don't want to call a crisis unit because I think she might kill herself. But it's none That's of my right. business. And then you wake up the next day. And, and yeah. It's happening too often. We need to yeah. look out for each other. We need to. That's right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, oh, yeah. I just... Tear you, my girl. I'm tripping out. I've watched this video and heard others talk about it, and you are um, the only spot on. Thanks. Yeah, I was we thought so to too. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely a female. Looks like she has white shoes and he is wearing boots. That's right. Now, so, so guys, and this is what Melody was saying too. This freaking music in my ear. I gotta take these earbuds out. So, um, you know what? I gotta pause the video. It's torturing me. Hold it. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, yeah, there is better. Um, it's possible that she was wearing the white sneakers and he was wearing black boots, like you and Melody just pointed out. I guess to me that was such a distinct difference in my mind. I was like, that couldn't be an actual difference because that's so obvious. They may as well have been like, you know, like um. Big Bird and Christy Brinkley, you know, mm -hmm. just, you know, two people who sometimes look alike, but not always, for example. Yeah. Um, and, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, so then, so then, you know, my solution to that was, well, maybe this person changed out of the sneakers into the boots because he was going to work. I don't know, though. What do you guys think? Uh, I think she had, don't you think she had the sneaks on and he had the boots on? Well, if that's, if, if, if one had, one on and the other had the other on. I think that's definitely how it would have gone. Yeah. Did, I'm, I'm trying to think. Did they ask any of the workers what he was wearing? They did, didn't they? When they interviewed him? Yeah. His... Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. And, you know, they um, they made a point. Well, yes, they did. Oh, and they yeah. They said that he looks a little more disheveled than usually. He usually presents very nicely, wears nicer clothes. One of them said that one of his... Um, you know, a uh, pant the leg pants, tucked that's... into his boot, and then he yes. said it was because he was afraid of something like ridiculous. Like, and then he said he was wearing, and he was wearing his old boots. I, if it was Troy or yeah, something. that's correct. And yeah, then, okay. and, and that's then, right. and then each, um, Cody and who is the female on site? Oh god, god. what's the girl's name? Oh, oh god. my god, I can't believe I can't remember her name. I know. Tired. The girl, the girl, anyway. You yeah. guys, Amanda. Yeah. No, not Amanda. That's Amanda Purcell. I don't freaking know. The girl. Melissa Parrish. Melissa, yes. So then they both 
went back or called back. One of them called back and one of them just said in the next interview, like, oh, I was talking to Troy and he reminded me that Chris was also, and then some other details about his wardrobe, which made a lot of people question why was, why was Troy so concerned about getting those details to law enforcement? I don't know if he was or he wasn't. It was just weird. It was weird. I thought he was very like nervous and like given more information than I probably would have even sure. remembered. Yeah, I found it odd, but do I think any of them were involved? I haven't given that enough thought to think that any of them would be that invested to, to have helped him with anything. Right, right. I, I don't know. I That's just my opinion, but I haven't really dived into that, the, the thought of it. Yeah. I just yeah. don't. You know, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, totally. What would they get out of it? I mean, really, where, where were they going to get out of it? Do they think they yeah. were all going to get away with it and, and, and like, share, like, what? Insurance? Like, I just don't see that. But I, I just, like, I think Troy was, I don't know if he just had an instinct that something, something's not right from when he pulled up. I don't know. Or did right. he know, did he know more than, than we that think he knows? You like it, that's something that we'll never freaking have the answer of. And that is one thing that I do think about often. Yeah, it's a, just a question mark above Troy's head in my head. With in my mind, he's the only one really that I have like a major question mark as to mm -hmm. what, how much did you know? Right. Well, then we were looking at you know the other night. I had never. Um, Arna brought this up. I had never because I was saying, oh, I was trying to find the picture that was on the text between Chris Watts and Troy McCoy, where there was the picture of the explosion. Mm -hmm. And I still have to go look back and look at that because what I noticed when she was um, showing it and the detective was scrolling through it very quickly, but there was a picture, it was a black Lexus, but there was a black, because I have I had never given the explosion theory credence whatsoever. I know people believe it. I listen to it. I go, uh-huh. And it just doesn't set mm -hmm. right true for, for me. Yeah. Um, I but the, it was it was the black it was Alexis, which is what Shenan drove. Okay. And then the next picture in the text was the explosion. It went Lexus explosion. Oh, now I'm gonna have to look at that. That's a little but, ironic. That's a little then ironic. I, then I believe that Ara said because I thought that they were from like the same day, like the same few moments. Okay. But then I'm still a little confused on it. I didn't go back to check yet. I believe Ara was saying that. The Lexus picture and the explosion picture were um, text on different days, which then again makes it different again. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm not. But it was sure. a black Lexus. Yeah. Just so, like, why was and, and and that Chris took the picture of the black Lexus and sent it to Troy. Correct. Okay. All right. Hmm. Yeah, and the next it was also the one that sent the picture of the explosion to Troy. Then another the next day, like correct. Mm, I, it's everything. I have to really just go look at Discovery again because it's it seems so long ago. But as as we talk about it, it all comes back. It all comes right. flooding back. Right, right. Let's see. I'm actually um. I'm and they were only really pictures, right? There were not. There was no talk. Like there was no texting messages, right? Wasn't it just? No, there was. There. What was. were they I'm saying about the Lexus? Yeah. 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 Like what was it? Like um, oh you. Oh here, here we. I think I may have gotten it, but I'm not okay. sure. <laughs> I don't know if our. No. Put that on her again. Uh, oh um oh thank you um, Ara put in the chat. If you pull oh, up the link, it's a uh, yeah. Oh, awesome! Thank you, Ara. You're awesome. That's a good Thank one. Chris Watts' text messages to coworkers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will grab it. Hold it. I think I found hmm. it here, but that's okay. I'll grab yours because I know it works. <laughs> oh, I just found another really good site though. I forgot about. Okay, here. Okay, so that's all the way back in February. Yeah. So he, he that was all the way back in February that he was sending those pictures. Uh -huh. No, wait, it was, it was dated 6.50. Let's take yeah, a look. Right. No, I'm take talking about the Lexus. I might decide to put my, uh, and my glasses on. Hang on. Oh. Okay, so in May, May is the, the Lexus, and then June was the explosion. Okay, right. so it was a time, it, there was, yeah. Okay. okay. Exactly. Troy, let's see, ask him that would be. Okay, uh, where's the link? 
Where's this is so funny? Yeah. I want to. Okay, hold it. Whoa, there was a lot of chat since then. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh shit, I can't hold it. I gotta go to YouTube in order to get the link. I hate that. Um. So he doesn't. He, he so we sent those pictures, but he doesn't talk about the Lexus. All he asked Tori is about something about finding out the gear ratio from his right. truck. What? Right. What the, yeah, right. Like a little weird. weird. It is weird. Hold it. Shit, I can't click on that. It drives me insane. Hold it. Um. This is perfect, though. Thank you, R. I'm saving this. Yeah, I don't know if yo, you can't you can't show it, can you? Because yeah, I can't I can't get to the link because it's just the way it's just the way. Did you see <laughs> the link? Did you get you, did you pull the link? I can't out? I can't click on the link though unless I go to YouTube, which um, you have, oh you don't have your phone with you? I do, but then I my phone I'm not gonna get on my phone on um I'm not gonna get on StreamYard on my phone because then I have two devices on StreamYard and that gets don't go on StreamYard, just pull up YouTube. But how would I share it with people? Oh, I'm, I thought you were just going to look at it at first. Oh, no, no, I wanted to share Oh, I'm it sorry. It. Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody, get out your phone. <laughs> All right, class, get on your phone. Everybody get on your phone. So funny. Well, I mean, we could at least tell them that. I think I found it otherwise, though. Did you? Are you looking at it? I am looking at it. You um, tell them then. Because we it's, trust you. God, whoever it's. Who is <laughs> Red Rum Media is the channel creator. Uh -huh. It's going really quick. So I'm trying to let, yeah. let me no, slow I think the detective is going really quick. But, yeah. Or some someone is, yeah. Somebody's going too damn fast. Yeah, I know. Let me slow it because I want to read what the hell um, it's saying. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of texting, but there's not a mention. Like, what? why, you know, there, there's no mention as what, why he sent that picture of the explosion. And nothing about like, hey, do you like this black, black or whatever it is? There's not a word about it. Okay, I'm slowing it down. Whoa. Let's see. Hold it. Did you Wait slow it down? No, no, no. This is oh. different. Just okay. Okay. Sorry. What? No. What? I just read some crazy shit. Hold this. Is what, true. What, what did you about what about, about like what? I got I don't even want to put it out there until I verify okay, okay. it. Right. <laughs> It'll be a quick one though. Okay, so all it is is May 9th, 2018. Oh, I found it. I found it too. Okay. See yeah. it? It's just a Lexus. There is no message. Then June mm -hmm. 15th, there's a picture of that explosion. There's no text message with it. And then June right. 18th, he talks about She's doing good, man. Made it out of surgery fine and is now at home. I'm going to try and just take off tomorrow. Hope to be back at work on Wednesday. Right. And then whoever says awesome, glad to hear. No no turn-ons until Friday. Okay, thanks, mm -hmm. buddy. They ask, and then he's somebody. So I don't know if it's if it's Chris is saying that I, how do I find out what gear ratio is in my truck? Gear so, gear, I, I, I don't know what that mean. Well, I, yeah, I don't know any of the guys know why. I'm not and a gearhead. Troy tells him, take a picture of the tag on the rear end. It should be connected to one of the bolts. Hmm. So, so, Troy tells him how to find that out. And then there's there's really nothing. He says, thanks. There's nothing much then. Um, nothing much. Okay, so then what's this? What date is that? Because it just says yesterday. Hang on. Because mm. it says it's a circus. What's a circus? Oh, okay, because there's not much texting. That's a, Okay, that's a little odd, too. There's right? Te they text in, they're texting about the, that in June. In July, there's one, two, three. There's like four texts maybe from between Troy. Four or five te texts between them because he was very mm -hmm. busy in July, Chris. He had a lot going on. Right. So then it it's Monday, eight. So then it was the day of. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so that was the next time 
was no news, man. Police searched the house. And then Tori's just sorry, saying sorry to hear that. Mm hmm. That's right. That's all. Yeah. Wow. That, I'm reading. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What did you find that you, that's what were you saying? You oh, I can't. I'll, I'll tell you in a second, but I found something else interesting here. So I'm okay. not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you the source. Um, It's a. But I'm, okay. I'm going to tell you so just a, some summary here that I'm reading. Um, Cause I, I, well, it's okay. So I actually had a, con okay. I had a contribution to this. So, um, um, hold it. Let's see. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay, it says, um, unfortunately, the investigator only included about 20 timeline entries starting on August 12th at 929, which was the beginning of what? The 111-minute phone call until oh, August 13th at 1010 a.m. And interestingly enough, not a single one of them had anything to do with Chris Watts' former mistress although there was a great deal of communication and phone activity or data exchange between the two. Oh, which is basically what I was saying with the, um, none of it being in discovery, but everything else is. That's weird. Yeah. See, I'm like, maybe if I read it from someone else saying it, it's going to smack y'all in the head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> It, 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 that's crazy. That is crazy. <clears throat> hmm. Oh my gosh, there's so much I just was reminded that we still have to look into that's like legit. Okay. Sorry, I'm reading. I like it. I do that sometimes. <laughs> Holy cow, that's so crazy. Chris is, uh, no, see, this is, okay, now I'm reading this other thing. No, I don't even want to get into this. It's going to take us down a whole other track. I already have videos about it. I don't need to talk about it right now. <laughs> Crazy stuff. How's, there, how's chat doing? Is chat still happening? <laughs> no. <laughs> You know what else is like very very interesting um just this is kind of random i'm sorry but we 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 looked at this guys when we were um recently looking at some of the interview excerpts from chris watts former mistress and then chris watts um how chris watts and his former mistress will use the same verbiage and way of speaking and phrases about certain things that might be um, uh, situations, circumstances, or, you know, facts that they wouldn't want to be honest about. And they talk about them in the exact same way. It just time and time again, to my ears, just comes out rehearsed. 
and collaborated with one another, you know, not independently. Like, I don't know. Hmm. For example, <laughs> let me think of it. Well, I, I, I have a couple examples in a couple of like several live streams ago, but they both refer to, uh, you know, Bella and Cece. But this is when they're being questioned by like law enforcement is being Chris's lifeline. But in the context of, oh, he wouldn't do anything to them or I wouldn't do anything to them. They were my lifeline or they were his lifeline. That's a very strange way to describe your children, I think. Oh, yeah, that was I, I agree. You know, um, and then, yeah, the one that, you know, we actually listened to a few live streams ago was um, when they were each of them are being questioned by law enforcement about the 111 minute phone call and they both said oh you know we we you know we we just talk about a bunch of random stuff i don't know nothing really stands out it was probably a bunch of random stuff they both initially said the like first sentence or two sentences if you look at them together basically said the exact same thing like in the same wording Mm -mm. You know, you, like th those are like accidents to me. It's like they, you may think that those are like to some people might seem like small things, but there that's too many coincidences in areas where they would clearly be wanting to hide the truth if they were guilty, which they are, in my opinion. Oh, David Carter, how are you? Oh no, oh no. Oh, David Carter says, everyone please say um, uh, prayers. I was rushed to the hospital and my pulse was 180 and blood pressure 140 over 148 over 103, temperature 99.1. They think I'm fighting an infection, thank you. Well, prayers for you, David. I hope that you, you know, try to, try to relax, my friend, get some rest and take care of yourself. It's the vitals don't sound too out of whack. So just drink lots of water, try to relax, follow the medical care and please get better. We care about you. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Who's, who's lonely? What are we talking about? Lonely everyone be nice and chat. Um, yeah. So Melody says, NK was called by Dr. Phil many times so she can say her part of the story and she changed her number and never called him back. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Sing me to sleep, Johnny. Oh my God, you guys kill me. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, those prayers with you, David Carter. Lots of people are praying for you, David. Yeah. Oh, oh Elizabeth, yeah. Oh, hi, Kevin Bashnick. I didn't even see all my, I'm sorry, didn't say, didn't say hello. You're always so friendly. Yeah. So, um, David just, or I'm sorry, not David. John just said, um, to somebody, um, no one has to have a certain belief to be here. Okay. This right. ain't a call. Yeah. This ain't a call. We don't need a certain belief. I don't know what's being said. I don't, that's why I didn't say the person's name. So, but right. No, we, I mean, we're here we're to talk about good. things, not, not we open -minded. point point fingers at people or be rude. We're not like, Oh, that. Oh, she has John is here because he's my redheaded stepchild, my friend and my nemesis all in one. Who said that? Oh, you said that. Somebody asked why I was here. Yeah, he, he he doesn't necessarily have a similar thinking to like what the general, I guess, consensus is. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Spices things up as long as he stops talking about the brown bikini and the, you know whatever. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> yeah, John and I when my I had a live two weeks ago on YouTube. Oh, crashed. So thanks, YouTube. Elizabeth. Thank you, honey. Oh, what's Sorry, funny. he's a doll, Elizabeth. She is. She's she? she seems like a doll. Yeah. Yeah. She, she said, um, doll. Yeah. Grateful True Tam Center here. True Tam is wonderful. I was chatting with her earlier after your um live and I miss that girl. So yeah, I'm happy yeah. she's gonna she's slowly feeling better. Yeah. Uh, let's see what the heck was I just looking at because it was funny. Mm. 
So, ah, yeah. So Melody says, going to tell me that nobody at the site had seen the sheets and bags. I call BS. I think they were buried Tuesday after it rained because the sheet wouldn't have looked like that. I have a video about the weather, too. It's the most accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the most accurate source out there. I spent a shitload of time researching it. But, yeah, it did rain um, Tuesday evening, it was moderate rain for 60 to 90 minutes. But the more, what I say in the video is the more impressive weather event was I was pretending I was a meteorologist. You know, I was like, I'm going to play weather girl. Um, the more impressive meteorolo meteor meteorological event was the winds, the sustained mm -hmm. winds and the gust of winds. Winds being sustained at up to 48 miles per hour with gusts up to 63 miles per hour. Oh Did I sound like a weather person there? Yeah. Very <laughs> impressive. Very <laughs> impressive. Uh -huh. uh, that's funny. So, John, I take it you don't like Dr. Phil. <laughs> Dr. Phil is a buffoon, John. Dr. Phil is a buffoon. Why would AK waste time with that? So Phil can twist it against her, right? Well, the problem is that the first time the R's went on Dr. Phil. Yeah, I'll go there, Ara. Go ahead. Their entire thing was, yes, we believe that NK had something to do with it. Yeah. And then, and then the missing Dr. Phil episode, the entire, entire story changed. No, NK had absolutely nothing to do with it. So that's a little odd. It is. It's a little odd. We, Kelly and I were talking, like, we went from one extreme to the complete next, where it was then, everybody shut up and don't ever say NK's name again, even though, you know, two weeks ago we told all, yeah, yeah, look into it. She was definitely, we believe, involved somehow. You know, so yeah. a little and odd. that's cool, but, like, with, you know, I mean, you know, there was, Probably it was not. such an abrupt turn. Yeah. yeah. People are going to look into it. <clears throat> of they course know. they are. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for Discovery to pop open, Ara, and then I will take a look at that. I cannot drink. I am going to get into oh my God, I'm, it is so freaking hot. I can't get enough to drink. Oh, it's hot here. Where, you're, where, you're up, what are you, up, you're upstate? I'm upstate New York, yeah. I probably passed by you driving out Buffalo last week. Yeah, where are you? You where do you live? I'm, you live I'm, in Pennsylvania. You have yeah, a Pennsylvania I live in like, the Poconos, Scram Poconos. Okay, area. that's right. Yeah, because I lived in Philly for twenty years. So yeah, I knew. So, I had so, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you'll have to tell me like more precisely. I know that area yeah. very, very, very well. Yeah. yeah, I told you we have to meet. We'll meet in the middle sometime in the summer. Oh yeah, because that'll be totally. Fun. One of my other bunny breeder friends is in. Uh, what is it? Um, it's near Scram, but it's a. Uh, Oh, I can't remember right now. It's near Wilkes-Barre? It's by Montage Mountain. Oh, okay. That's where I'm. Okay, yeah. Ma yeah. Ma that's right where I'm at. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's called, a, well, I don't want to give away where you're at by telling. What no, but is she living in like a development like Glenmara or? Um, Like, so, not that, but I just can't music. remember. There's like music. There's um, trying to evoke a. Well, Volk is where the, air, the airport is. Here, I can tell you in a minute. Here. Okay. <laughs> That's when you were, were one of your what? But one of the bunny people, is that what you said? Yeah, one of my yeah, like those bunnies. Babies. Oh God, those they're white so bunnies. Cute. Those the lo <laughs> those little faces are so darn cute, Kelly. Oh, they're oh. sweet. So sweet. Oh, they're beautiful. Right, let me find this here. Um. I think I might. Let's see. Um, I know she's in my safe location. <laughs> welcome to Chinatown. Why is welcome to Chinatown in my safe locations? I didn't say that. Oh, your dad's from Conchahokan, Karen. You're Philly. That's cool. Ah, 
Phil, I love Philadelphia. I just love Philadelphia so much. I do. I do too. It's such fun. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So what? It, how do I get to my? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you sometime where she lives. I can't find okay. her. Right you now. could go. You could go on. Or if you want stream here, just private. Uh, go under the private chat. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, is Joan still here? I was just going to say that. Or where's Joan? Where's Joan and Utter? They are such wonderful people. They are. Joan, Ara, Utter. And so much. They were just so good last night and helping, you know, with my mods because they, they were yeah like, quick yeah. on getting rid of those crazy, are those crazy people. Okay, so here's your 1904 Ara uh, discovery. Okay. Mm -hmm. She all right. so where he's all right. Got it. Shoot, I gotta go to bed soon. I have to be up soon. <laughs> you have to be up soon. Is that what you said? Yeah, I have to get up for work at like early. Oh gosh, does your son have school tomorrow? Oh yeah. When are they done? I don't remember. Because what is it? We're now at the end of May. Those. Yeah, we are. It's crazy. Yeah, okay, so. A video and photograph were taken of the children playing trampolines. Okay, watch transfer this image to the secret calculator application. Okay, I'm looking at it. R. I'll share it in a second. Mm -hmm. And what am I looking for, sweetie? Can you tell me what R is saying we're looking for here? <clears throat> How were you just? What were you going to look for? Well, she, she wanted me to look at page 1904 in Discovery. Okay, it says, I'm certain Watt communicated far more with Kessinger then is reflected in his phone data, perhaps facilitated through the secret calculator application. It became apparent when he was receiving assorted nude images of Kessinger that she was taking by herself and sending <laughs> to Watts, classy bitch. Um, well, you know, it's all good and everything, but I just don't, I like to like, not like her. So, um, uh, which he then stashed in that application to prevent Shanann from ever seeing them. Right. Okay. So here's the point. I never understood that till now for whatever reason. So if she's sent taking these nude pictures of herself by herself in John Coolier Jets, <laughs> I already am just, just going to say that. <laughs> and those pictures were not sent through text or something else that they know that they are able to typically trace through their forensic data analysis and, you know, right. about, anal yeah. Then how did they get to his phone? So they got there somehow. What was that somehow? Yeah. You get it. It had, it was something they didn't, they weren't. Taking yeah. She, what did pigeons. she just say? There was only, they only use secret, the secret calculator and text messages. Well, she never admitted. To she never, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, you wonder. You wonder if they had like they. Oh my God, that stupid naked thing keeps coming back up again. Got mods. They're back. They want to satisfy our. They want to satisfy our wishes online. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Then find. Then tell us who is in the driveway. That's all we want to know. Damn That's it. it. Um. <laughs> shit. What the hell? What were we? Wait. What were we just talking about? Oh God. My God. I have such brain fog. I know. I was talking about we need sleep. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I can't remember what we were just talking about because I just saw that naked that's those that damn troll again. Oh my god. So Elizabeth, Elizabeth put funny. Elizabeth, I did a nine ten hour live last night. They entered my chat. I'm not lying. I'll go back I have up to count it at least seventy times. I'm not lying. It and every a lot, time they, yeah, every time they there. come back, like it's just a dirtier, it's just a dirtier statement that they're letting you know they're offering service wise. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if 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 that doesn't, you know, if that doesn't strike your fancy, we also offer this. Yeah, we were, at, one point, at one point we think it said about going to Hooters. Like we were just mm -hmm. laughing and then having fun with it. That's yeah, really you have to. I'm like, whoever you are, you need to get outside and get fresh air. <laughs> Seriously, my lord. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, I'm looking into one more thing. It was that thing that made me go, oh okay. um, if I seeing if I can get anywhere on it. If not, okay. then then I we gonna I gonna be gone. 
and and I, 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 right now it was not. I know we were, we are eventually somewhere down the line. Maybe if we have to do it as as a private or, or, or an unlisted chat, and we can give like the members the link. We were going to talk about the autopsies and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. I did want to because I did. I do have something to tell you about. Just August 21st of last year, there was more redactions on Bella's, um, on the diagram part of her oh, autopsy. really? Yeah, I have to August tell you. August 21st of 21? Yes. So, because it was different, because my, my discovery was probably from the beginning of the year. Oh, wow. And I looked at the wow. diagram and I'm like, hmm, there's, le there's less on this one. Why? And then I looked at it and I'm like, oh, my God, they're redacted. And it was like August wow. something. Yeah. Yep. And it's something important. That's why I do want to just don't let me forget to tell you about it, what it is that was taken out. It's not. Oh, it's, yeah, please. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Wow. All right. That's crazy. Why I would know. it I, I know. I know. I know. Mm. Bronco chick 65. Yeah. Are you, are you near Montage Mountain in Scranton? I'll meet you there. We'll go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's my, yeah, there's Montage, the outlets, and then there's Montage Mountain where people ski, but I, I don't ski. I, I don't like the cold. It had no. It said it had nothing to do with the cops redacting anything. This was the forensic diagrams from Bella's autopsy, the actual diagram of the of, of the body and her and the injuries. August twenty first. So they took an injury off. There was there. There's some differences. Okay. Not. It's nothing to do with law enforcement discovery. It was. It. it it's just that specific part of it because that's what I was looking at because that's what we were going to have a panel on. Wow. It's disturbing what they removed. I was very I was shaken up by it. In fact, I was going to email you when I saw it and then I thought, no, because it was too late at night. I'm like, I'll get her all wound up. Yeah, that's really crazy. I, that's, yeah. that's surprising. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I mean, we should never be, I just like, I guess one thing we've learned is like, don't ever be surprised by this case. It's like never right. ceases to amaze. Yeah. Yeah, that did me. And I, I just thought, I, mean, I thought for a minute even, and why am I so surprised? <laughs> like, right. If anything weird could happen, it would be, it's going to be with this case. Absolutely. We got to get through this so we can t do, get into the Heather Elvis case, too. Oh, I know. I really and do. Tomorrow, to Johnny that. will be back in court. The jury will see what's going how long it's going to take before they. Oh, I know. There's, there's oh, so many great God. things to talk about. We're, we're very busy. <laughs> I know. There's, there's so much crime slash civil. Oh, no, Terry. I'm, I'm not teasing. I will. We're definitely going to do a, a whole panel on it. I. I have to really look at my old diagram because I don't want to just say what's not in there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't need yeah, to. No, no, like, I'm not yeah, teasing. Sorry I, about I, that. I'm just yeah. saying, I was very, I was just very shocked by it. I was, ups it was upsetting actually. Yeah, because um, Rose and DTC Primetime, and I'm not sure if there's somebody else, we're going to, you know, do a do a live stream talking about the autopsies because my mm -hmm. stance has always been I won't touch them because I don't have a medical background. You know, everything is not my wheelhouse and autopsies are definitely not something I feel any way qualified to even anything. That's just not it's not it's not for me. Like, right. I appreciate right. what other people have to say, but, you know, yeah. you can't analyze everything because then you just sound like a. Yeah jackass <laughs> so, no, i leave no. that to other people <laughs> i think it wasn't john was john gonna be what was john oh he was talking about with the he knew about like the guy that did the software like with the foam ping towers that's the, right heather elvis yeah. he was talking about that that's right that's right that's right there's such interest there's so know. many interesting areas to talk about with this but the i just thought 
because the next day is when uh, CBS <laughs> was on the news about like leave the family alone. I'm like, all right, we're gonna put that. I up. know, I know. That's that right. That was, that's why we didn't do it. Yeah. yeah. That was the next day. We were yeah, like, oh. it was literally the next day. I'm like, okay, right. And I and I honestly, I do feel weird. Um, on you know, just because I don't have any expertise or I don't I, know. And I don't, I'm, see, I'm uncomfortable and I'm a trauma forensics nurse. I don't, I'm right. uncomfortable talking about the children's autopsies. And that's why right. I only go, I strictly go by different, exactly yeah. what it says. And I just try to break it down. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, there's yeah. very few people that I would trust on this channel just because, you know, I have to really be the one to take care of it and make the final decision. Yes. There's only a few people I would trust to talk about the autopsies. And sometimes oh, God, yeah. I want to talk about, I don't know. You're not yeah. going to talk about the autopsies. I'm sorry. No, no, you can't <laughs> say, but this is what I think happened. Okay. But that's not what's on the, right, on the, right. on the, you know, summary report. So I, I would right. not go there, you know, you and, just I don't, I, <clears throat> and I don't like it when, you know, people talk about the autopsies where they're just overriding every single conclusion the medical examiner came to. I mean, there may be some funky stuff going on, but it's like, but you, you yeah. did not, you weren't the medical examiner. No, not no. You and I, I mean? like, I still do have faith in, in science and medicine. I have mm -hmm. to, I mean, it's my job, right? Absolutely. To be a joke right. of a nurse to not, but the redacted part. And then obviously the, he, it was not redacted because uh, the forensics pet, you know, and, and the coroner just felt we we're going to take it out. I mean, obviously someone gave them that directive. Correct. Right. So yeah, I was just right. stumped yeah. by that. That's wild. So, all right, guys. So I kind of make sense of that out of that, but I got to go friends, but thank you so much for being here. Um, I would love some feedback from you guys who've been here and yeah. people watching the replay. What do you think? I mean, John, we're not you, talking what, about John. We're not talking about that. The autopsies are going to tell us who did it. No, that's not what no, no, we're no, going to no. get into. Not at all. No, not um, at all. The autopsy so, that tells you that would tell us nothing about who did it. Yeah, and not as far as I, I, I wouldn't go there. That's not what I was going to talk about with it. Yeah, I play golf in eight hours. Let's figure this out fast. You're so funny, Mark Klein. I figure. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I play golf so great. You guys are hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, John. Thank you, John McSmith. He says Michael Nelson. That's right. Yeah. So, all right, guys, seriously, I got, I didn't realize how late I was getting. Thank you Get so some, much for being here. Thank Please you for leave having a comment. Me. Let us know what you think. Did you see that, you know, portion of the video before? I'm going to just share it one more time. So everyone knows what it is we're talking about. Um, hold it. The frick. Oh, I just have to change the view here. Wow. I'm really slow right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, and sorry. I, I, didn't mean to I, I, I feel myself, I feel myself getting tired too, but. Um, so this is what we're talking about here. So, um, uh, here, whoops, get back here, Chris. No bullshit. Thank oh, wait, you. No, it's at the end. I keep forgetting. Being so kind. So Watts walks into the garage in this way you're going to see right here and continuous, continuous forward movement with nothing weird going on. See, just walking. He's just walking. Ah, ah, ah I'm still hearing it. And again. Here he goes again, just straight for walk like a caveman. And then uh, watch Chris Watts reach just before he steps into the garage. It's so he is reaching for an object someone is handing him. So, you know, his right hand, the inner inside hand, we believe reaches forward into the garage. And we saw from the contextual footage that yeah. there's nothing to grab there. And he mm -hmm. turns around very quickly with a gas can in his hand. Now, this video here is slowed down to 20%. Okay. And I didn't edit anything out there. Yeah. So it's literally a matter of a couple seconds where he turns around and watching this on my television is a whole better experience. I know. I hope everybody can, can watch yeah, that TV to so get a little better. bit, but get so much of a better idea of it. It's, it's yeah. crazy. It's a whole other world. That was, I'm happy you 
even thought to do that. I'm not thinking yeah. straight, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy you That's thought. That's right. <laughs> so there he goes. Okay, so did you see that? So here, we're going to see it again. He's like walking so stiff and creepy, isn't he? I know. He reaches. I think uh. he reaches for sure. There's the arrow. There and there the he there the right arm. Yeah, the right arm goes up. Here he comes again. Doppelganger, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> the doppelganger. We don't need two of that man. No, my God. No, please no. Jesus. Who is he reaching out to? You know, we don't know, but no. No. we do. We do know that. We do know it's an adult-sized person. It's not a child. That's yeah. If yeah. Any, if anything, he's. And we do know down. he's not having to bend down, right, to reach that adult-sized person or, right. or to reach whatever. And he yeah. turns around. Um, when you watch it in real time, nearly immediately. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. The gas can. Yeah, that's, that's, see that's and you, you know, you like, and you debunk by, you know, you debunk what was in the, the garage area itself. So you, there's not like shelves, like you said, or anything where he could have reached up. There's none of that. Exactly. There's none of that. None of that. And yeah. hold it. Just, okay, one, All right. One, well, don't, don't dream of this tonight, Kelly. Just get I rest. I know. Let's, I know. Right? We do. Yes. Rest. Everybody should get rest. Yes. Okay. We're going to dream of, um, Mm. Johnny Depp getting a fifty million dollar civil oh. suit decided in his favor. I, I want to. I do. know. I just want. I know. I want his. I just want his name clear. God bless him. I think he just deserves it. He just he, simply he does. does. And you know, and people need to know that you can't. Domestic abuse is a very serious thing. Obviously. Yeah. You yeah. can't go around claiming domestic abuse if it's not the case. And I mean, mm -hmm. no one knows for sure, but no, I'm damn, I'm, we're sure it's sure, you know, it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. My God. <laughs> she's a, she's a very I'm bad liar. Such a sociopath. <laughs> yeah. Such a sociopath. So we'll see what the, we'll see what the jury comes out. I hope it's, I mean, I hope it's not more than a week, but who knows? I know. You never know. You just don't know because there's so much that they're going to have to go back and look at. That's right. All right. Well, so I'll just let you guys roll out remembering how much um, Chris Watts, former mistress, adored Shanann. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Love your videos, Kelly. <laughs> but it's so scary and creepy, this part. Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said Can, do you he know was, her name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. And do you know the children's name? Yes. It's Dawn's. Okay. She went by, they called her Cece. Mm -hmm. right. So he went to, were they in North Carolina They're already? They were already there. If he wants something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they were already out there. He just flew out there. Do you know why they were there? They're all from there. So if you do want to take so off, were, Rose, I'm just going to let this play and then I'm going to end. No, I let the pictures make me sad, but I always like, I don't know why I torture myself and look at I them. Know. I, I so this I video excerpt those. is from the August 16th. So if I don't come back, guys, thank Christmas you, moderators. Thank mistress. you, chat. Thank you now, guys so much for being here. Now, the audio portion of this video had been available be for three for years support. since the initial yeah. okay. discovery okay. was released. All right, good night, Kelly. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Only Give recently, yes, in definitely. April of 2022, okay. right. was the video Bye. portion of this interview released, and that was only after a YouTube creator put some pressure on the district attorney's office. In my profession, I observe and analyze behavior. One thing that we know is that 80% of human communication is nonverbal. That means communication happens through body language, through facial expressions, through the way a person holds their posture a good example of the importance of this nonverbal communication is when Chris Watts was interviewed on his porch the day after his family went missing. In this case, his facial expressions, his micro expressions were absolutely 
not match what he was saying or what, you know, a person would be feeling or experiencing when their whole family disappeared and they've been gone for over a day. We also see examples of the importance of nonverbal communication in the trial that's going on right now between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. What I'm getting at here, guys, is a specific movement Chris Watts' former mistress makes, a nonverbal communication, if you will, when Agent Coder asks if she knows Shanann's name. Now, this shady empanada has managed to get through hours of interview without saying Shanann's name. Agent Kobach has to ask her again, specifically, can you say her name? The first time she says Shanann's name, look at what she does with her hands. Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said do you, do you he know her right. name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. And it's Shanann. All right. And Chris, while he was talking to Agent Coder, made a lot of movements towards his neck area, says Tammy Lee. Special Agent Coder actually came out of the room and he said uh, he may have strangled her. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever you want the okay on, I'm sure it's okay. <laughs> Go for it. I'm easy going. Just everyone be respectful. Chat. All right, if you're going live afterwards, pop it in, drop it in chat for sure. Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said she, do he you know was... her name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? It's Shanann. All right. And do you know the children's name? Yeah, this is Bella and okay. She went by, they called her. Yeah, very busy hand. Do you recall where the house was? Yeah, it's like right off the highway. Good night, Karen. Do you know the streets? I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out again if I like really had to. Like off the top of my head, no. Do you know the street name? No. I would have to like drive around. Right Adrian, just stop by. Like, Ara's gonna so drop a link. On. You can, you know, always just stop by and leave if you want. Like, why don't you just try this out, you know? into it and I did not like it and did not want to go back. That's right, Allie. Do you recall where the house was? Yeah, it's like right off the highway in Frederick. Okay. In the streets. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out again if I like really had to. Like off the top of my head, no. Do you know the street name? No. I would have to like drive around in there to get there. Okay.
Kelly, sweetie, how are you doing? Welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm sorry, just got this at the end, darling. I know, Allie, it's really awesome to see you. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, rewatch and come anytime. Shoot me a message. Come anytime you can. It's always awesome to have you here. So, uh, guys, I go into bed like right now. Got to get up for work soon. But thank you guys again, everyone, so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, moderators, everyone in chat, all of you guys who are, you guys are the channel. It's awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Tia Marie. I didn't see you before. I'm sorry. Hi, and I'm glad you're here. And, oh, who else? I missed a few people. I'm sorry if I missed you um, tonight. Um, dude, my phone, my freaking awful computer's freaking out. Stop, computer. I need a new computer. Have I said I need a new computer? <laughs> I say all the time. And, uh. Louise, did I say hello to you? I'm sorry. I don't think I did. I saw you a couple of times. Welcome. And I am glad you're here. Don't forget dark things he mentioned were happening to NK. I think that's important. I think that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weird, weird stuff, man. I just was reading something else that indicated something else having to do with what we were just really focusing on looking at tonight. Our curious Rose and I were at least, hopefully you guys got something out of that. And um, it's just more, I, it's just, it's crazy. So more to come. <laughs> Hi, Sharon Norris. How are you? Glad you were here. Don't know how long you were here for. I'm sorry. Got wrapped up in a, you know, chatting and all that, which is understandable. Lobo, thanks for being here. I'm so glad you were here like the whole time. That's awesome. I love having you in chat. You make good contributions. Dunderhead. Have you been watching you some Kimberly? I freaking love her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end. So everybody go over to Ara's. I think she dropped it, dropped the link in chat. If you want to do that again, um, Ara, do that before I uh, head out. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. The, I'm, that's really nice to hear, Allie. I try to um, I try to say acknowledge whoever I can. I think it's awesome you guys show up. I'm always like, God, I'm so like amazed people show up. I can't believe people subscribe. This is great. These are great people. <laughs> Oh, oh man, <laughs> you're so funny. And David Carter, I don't know if you're still around, but I hope, please get well. Try to rest and relax. Let me know if you need anything. I'll do it again. Um, and yeah, cool. Who is it after daylight walks out? Is there that footage? Yeah, we played a little bit of that. That appears to be Watts. But then you, even after Watts drives away, it appears to be Watts, you see that shadow appearing and lingering. It's strange. Oh, thanks, Allie. That's awesome. Thank you for that feedback. I appreciate that. It's kind of, well, I don't know. Everyone's different. Sometimes I feel like it's strange to me that what I wanted to say, I'm just going to say it since I started saying it. It's strange to me that more people don't do that. And I get it. Like chats get big, but you know, we've had like two, 300 here, which isn't nearly as big as some of them get obviously, but 
I still want to acknowledge people if I can, but if I can't, I'm just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it does get hard because I used to also, until recently, um, reply to every single comment that somebody left on a video. And I did this for almost a year, but I just, I can't keep up with it anymore. So I get, it gets hard. Yeah. For, you know, so I don't blame others for what they do. Oh yeah. Black boots. That's right. Um, I, I believe that's Watts. Yeah. in the black boots. Yeah. I think that's what the kind of consensus is, but man, that video is so fantastic. I mean, we're all really clear on what's going on, aren't we? Ha, 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 no. Um, shoes and boots. That's what I think, too, a face in the crowd, I believe. Yeah, that's exactly what I think, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Crazy stuff. So, all right, guys. Good night. Everyone be safe. Love y'all. I'll see you soon.